want me to tell people that we're alive? <laughs> Hello, and we are here. Hello. So, <laughs> welcome, Hello. everyone. We are here, and we are sad. <laughs> Freshly morning. You know what? This weirdly lines up with my introduction perfectly. Um, so, we we have to start with some bad news. Do not worry; it's not IRL bad news. It is just it is bad news nonetheless. Um, I I ha was having complaints from our players <laughs> that a certain Uncle Jing Jong did not survive. Um, well over 40 points of fireball damage with his 11 HP. <laughs> um, out, of, <laughs> out of the kindness <laughs> of my heart and hope for the future, I decided to roll some death saves for Uncle Jing Jong. Now, it was a rough start with two fails, Ugh. but then we managed to get two successes. And thus, with the last roll, I held the dice up to the mic and said, you know, you gotta blow on the dice for good luck. To which I then rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the, my soul leaving my body because I'm so sad. Um, so, um, rest in peace. Uh, before, not before. <laughs> I just saw the. Uh oh, I saw thanks. The I, saw the I saw the muted mic symbol over here. <laughs> I <was> just, like, <laughs> just drew my attention. I'm sorry. No, Bifon's fine. Bifon's great. We love Bifon. Foreshadowing. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm dead. You take, no, you take all my I'm Uncle Jing Jongs. You can take all of them. Okay, I will. Um, sounds like a fair deal. But leave oh, me my beef on. a big mute symbol above my face? Uh, I mean, you guys would rather me leave this on for all the gunshots and police sirens we're going to hear while I it's, it's all <laughs> Either good. way is up to you. It is all good. The, the mute symbol is starting to grow on me, to be honest. It's, it's, it's had a certain yeah. charm to it. <laughs> it's just so big. It's like so glaringly. <laughs> Incredibly hey! distracting. It's, it's yelling silence, you know what I mean? Like it's really commanding, like, hey, I am being quiet. You know? It's just, it's the mute symbol, and then you also saying, rest in peace, Bifon, or something. It was too much. It was too much. Rest in peace, Bjorium, um, <laughs> There will hopefully be a way to bring you back. But speaking of bringing you back, hi guys, welcome back to Tales of the Torn Veil, question mark. Hey. Um, it is so wonderful to have you here today. Hype train, not just... Not just hype train, hype train level three already. Oh, you guys, ready? Oh my god! You guys, that might be enough to bring back Uncle Jing Jong. Um, oh my god! Maybe Don't play with my heart. Last... I'm gonna roll the last roll at advantage because we just level hit level four. four. That is a nine, so it still fails. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a shame. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Jing Jong of it. <laughs> All high trains from here on out will deter will give Uncle Jing Chong another roll. <laughs> 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 Until we succeed. We're bending the rules. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yes, we do sincerely hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. We'll say hello to you all in a second, but thank you so much for the hype train so far. Um, any biddies um, you give to the stream goes equally between our players so please do support the stream if you can if you want to you are which is great um thank you so much i'm finger guns right now you can't okay. today i have remembered the order to which i was going to introduce everyone um and so <laughs> wait 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 hold on are y'all not hearing are y'all only hearing me this... Hold on. Wait, say something? What? Hmm? what? Oh, you can? Okay. A time, there was a happy man the dis the Discord another. bar wasn't lighting up, so I was worried for a second that they weren't hearing you. But... Discord! The, the, the real big bad evil. 
Um, but yes, we are going to introduce our wonderful players to you momentarily. Um, all right, thank you, V. <laughs> Great start. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Jingdo died. No one can hear anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let me think. Today's order. Are we going to do least likely or most? I think we'll do most likely. Um, first okay, so up. I'm first. First up. Most likely to Ludo. die, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. First, you're, you're safe. It, I'm not doing one that obvious. Luto. <laughs> okay. Would you like to introduce yourself and your uh, character for us, please, darling? Yes, hello, I am Luto. Nice to meet you. I, uh... That's not how Ludo talks at all. I'm JC. I play Ludo. Uh, this is how JC talks. Uh, Ludo talks more like this, which is kind of like a mixture between Jedediah, my old character, and my dad. So it's like if Jedediah was my dad, Dadediah. Very weird. I need to stop bringing. I need to start. I need to choose a different voice when I describe this. Uh, but uh, I'm here. I'm happy to play every week. Uh, this is one of the highlights of my week. Really happy with my crew and with DM. And I'm glad y'all are here. Thank you very much. Yay! Next up, I think it's tricky because I think some of y'all have got some stuff. Um, I would say in terms of uh, just generally. Probably Aloro's next, I think. Hi, Aloro. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Would you like to introduce us to yourself and your character, please? Bye. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It messed up again. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, continue uh -huh. talking. You have to lead all over again. Continuing to talk. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Have a <laughs> I'm a half felt druid and I like cats and I've made a lot of friends along the way with my wonderful shark Luro and wolf wolf Luro and oh, and all that. Awulo Awulo <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Amazing. Next up, we'll go Tarquin. Hello, Tarquin. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Thank you for introducing me. You earned one Tarquin point from the start, just for Wait, that. Hang on, oh let me roll God. something real quick. Oh my God, I actually remember Tarquin today, canonically. Yay. <laughs> How much? A little bit. <laughs> Do you know that I am a dog? I, I, read the chat. There's all my descriptions there. Thank you, B. I have all my titles there on, on everyone to see, to see and, and admire. But uh, jokes aside, I am your favorite monk who likes to kick people's ass and look good while doing that. And maybe one day I will be the king of the world. So stay here and just don't go too far. There you go. There you have it. Big claims, big coming in, coming in strong Humble, at level always. four. <laughs> Hell yeah! And last but by absolutely no means least, Mizu Bifon, Mizu Bifon, this is. Hello, Dime. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dime Package, and I play Bifon the Stairs, uh, <laughs> lovely Firbolg. And uh, apparently I'm going to die soon, so get no! to know him and enjoy his time <laughs> um, as much as he enjoys all of yours. Hey. Whoa, whoa, what a team. Also, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> I'm Key and I always forget myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I will be your dungeon master extraordinaire. Um, or somewhat extraordinaire, hopefully. You know, we can dream. Um, and I will be narrating, uh, describing, orchestrating chaos, and um, being everyone else. Every, um, you might know me from such classics as... 
Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> found my YouTube channel trailer. Um, but yes, uh, it is so wonderful to have you all here. Are you guys excited? I hope you guys excited. No music. That might be on my end. This woke him. Maybe, maybe now music? I'm doing this new setup with like my microphones on one thing and my headphones are on another thing. But. Oh, hold on. Now they can't even hear you. I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're, everybody's back. The music is not back. I'll figure out the music. Uh, let, me, let me get some more consistently loud music for us. That might help. Just, just for now, while we say what hello was that? to everyone. Sound familiar. That was uh, Skurm. Uh, uh, I think. I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the link after if you're funny. <laughs> oh, V says they hear the music. Oh no. It's oh it's no. Not, it's now Turn it's... it off. Turn it off. I couldn't find the original. We are I'm officially sorry. no longer friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just Find realized that it too. Awful I'm sorry. remaster soundtrack. I'm sorry. Oh, get it. Ah. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. I've got, I've got a better one. I've got a better one. I'm sorry. It's going. It's going. I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard. I'm, no, I'm sorry. This is how I die. <laughs> I didn't realize I it was the remaster. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Oh Had I known God. it was the remaster. There we go. Now it's more tense while we do hellos. <laughs> Okay, apparently Hello, we do zombie. have music. Ooh. Yay! Hello, Zombie B! Hello, Sky B! How many rhymes can we do? Hello, Kimura Key, that's me. Uh, hello, Rihanna Willow Gree. Uh, hello, Bean Breedy Ree. Hello, Mitch Simi! There we go! Uh, <laughs> hello, and then JC. Uh, hey. Hello, Sleepy Bunsy! Let's go! <laughs> There's a theme! I'm seeing a theme! <laughs> uh, hello. Ichigo Audios! No, I can't do that. I can't say that. But hello! No. <laughs> Here we go. Ichigo Audios. Ichigo Audios. Now you can start on the There we go. Ichigo Audios. And Pam Town! Hi. Now you can hear the music. Go back to gentle. <laughs> um, uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. It's a good one. Yes, mm -hmm. that is that is what this is. Oh God, Blades! Wow. I, I, it was back from the time I tried to do a Discord bot instead, so I had to get everything from uh, from SoundCloud. <laughs> I couldn't have any YouTube videos. So I was like, what? I don't know. I don't know how many people know about Blitz. It's not oh, bad. No. No, I didn't know it was a game. I was just saying this song is nice. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Right? It's called Hearthfire. I was like, that, that's, that's an apt name. Uh, you know? It's an apt name for what we need right now. Is Elder Scrolls Blades <laughs> there? Is that the VR one they put out? It was a Ooh. mobile one. Mobile, ah. Yeah. But yes, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you so much for the hype train already. Choo -choo. And is everybody, um, is everyone ready to start the, the game? I don't think anybody wants to die, but I guess I'm ready. <laughs> Bivon just having a fourth wall existential crisis. <laughs> just hang on a minute. It's just the scene in Barbie where she's like, <laughs> Have any of you ever thought about dying before? And it's like, oh, I'm not. Um, but yes, if we're all ready, then we shall begin. Hold on. <laughs> okay, the police are ready. Any, any I sirens? apologize for you. It's all good. Any, any sirens are officially seagulls. <laughs> okay, so don't, let, don't let the immersion break, alright? Ready to count the number of happy valentines days? Let's freaking go. 
Okay. Let's. Where's. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, I feel like the song I deleted from the playlist was the one I needed for <laughs> starting the stream. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I also named it. You a were obviously going to going to delete that uh, HD remaster. So. I didn't realize it was the remaster. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. But on that note, let us begin today's session, which has even more meaning now that we've lost Uncle Ginger. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. There's a poetry in circumstance, finding out that the world is comprised of much more than one expected, that there exists a nexus to countless other realms, peoples, deities, in one of the smallest cities, so isolated from the rest of the world, is definitely something of note. Some would call it fate, irony, or perhaps both. Once again, that poetry serendipity. Others would see it as a phrase demeaning of actuality. There's nothing poetic about the events of the last few hours and the loss it wrought. No flowery language can soothe the heart. The great bards themselves faced great hardship and tragedy. Their poems and songs penned as homage, remembrance, immortalizing events to be learned from and not repeated. Oft even a means of processing things themselves. Umberlai puts down her quill as she hears the tent open, eager to see if the others have returned. They helped save her life after all, as well as many others residing in the tent at present. Brought back accomplices to the fire for interrogation. Brought back bodies with the possibility of revival. Though, some are still missing. Yor, Yenka, and Tefima, to name a few. The nightmare could have ended much, much worse. If it is indeed over. The night is still long. Where we left off, you were all taking a short break after helping many on the islands, and finding ways to help those seemingly helpless. You travelled to Tefima. You travelled to Tefima's shrine, seeing him missing, likely dragged away by the spectral chains. The only sign of life remaining in the form of an empty envelope with urgent penned in invisible ink, seemingly meant for a Tyrion. You've all a few more minutes here until we all travel up to the Pinnacle Isles with the Mistress of Tyrion to meet with the newlywed royals and hopefully find some full rest in their home. So as we begin, viewers, players, sit back, take a deep breath and immerse yourselves as we continue with Tales of the Torn Veil. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Boy, sounds familiar. <laughs> um, so, uh, as described, we left off uh, in the main tents that we used for the ceremonies uh, and the hunts. Uh, Icta's just gone into a, her office in the back. Uh, Etirin is still kind of standing at the war table, um, preparing some things before you all head off and up to the Pinnacle Isles to go and peek inside the palace for yourselves. Which would have happened irregardless of the events of tonight. You see the sadly scorched bodies of a few that didn't make it, including Chrissy, Christy, uh, Christy's boss in various parts. You see, uh, of course, Luca, and unfortunately, you do see Bjorn Piffles, mm. aka Uncle Jing Jong. <laughs> the herd is still too fresh. 
I'm sorry. Um, in your last session, you did look for a way to recuperate Luca back to her living form through means of her deity, um, who you found out to be some form of demonic deity. Um, now keeping an eye out for anyone who might be able to help out with any of that such information, potentially from an infernal source, aka a tiefling, potentially. Um, you see uh, sideburns and petal tied up at the side and being thoroughly watched over by um, Amelia and her lackeys and her friends, or new friends, making sure that they don't run for it or do anything stupid. To the side, you've got Umberlai and uh, Fene bonding over music. Octol rests on a bed, just recuperating from his recent, again, <laughs> not for the first time, his recent bodily trauma. Alive, however. What would you like to do? I believe our next big plan was to go see what's going on at the at the royal palace, right? Who do we need to see yes. about that? So you've got a few minutes while Itirim prepares um, before you all head up there. I see. Um, so you've got I have some a question. time to kill. Yes. Are we rested? Uh, you've had a short rest. Okay. If you want to have a long rest, well, you'll have a long rest at the palace. Um, whether you want to risk using the um, long rest potions or not is up to you. All right. It depends if you think there will be a fight at the palace or some other need to recuperate before the long rest you will have there as planned. Gotcha. Uh, I think Ludo is going to have a seat next to Umberlai while she's hanging out with Fanny Lidice and kind of just lean on her. Like, being being careful not to, like, you know, crush the poor girl, but, like, just kind of <laughs> gently leaning on her while he slowly uh, makes a meal out of drinking the potion. He's going to do a full long rest, I think. Okie doke. Remove, remove the potion from your inventory. Oh. And and have a 12-second lo long deep sleep. <laughs> Okay. Just the, the snores just in, just in this beautiful, kind of peaceful, quite sad quiet in the tent. Um, some big old Luto snores begin to um, rattle throughout. <laughs> <laughs> but potentially enough to wake even the dead. Who would know? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, he's really out, huh? Yes. Quite. Just a snoring right next to it. Umbrella's <laughs> ear and just... <laughs> just real big. Beep, beep, real beep, 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 <laughs> The old snot bubble. <laughs> yes! <laughs> As you wake up. <laughs> That came out so much better than I could have hoped. The number of times I've done that, and it's been disappointing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, um, successful, successful sleeps. Um, and you wake up and you, you, uh, good rests. I kept asking her to stop hurting me and I ask her why and I tell her to stop and I don't even hurt her back but she just kept stabbing me why would she do that? Uh, who? who? that one her sister and he'll nod towards Petal <laughs> 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 Umberlai um, 
just kind of pats your shoulder and kind of pushes you up as she stands up and heads towards Petal. <laughs> Petal, was it? And you see Petal kind of from a slightly sleepy, slightly unconscious stupor just kind of half look up. Um, grinning, just a bit of blood in her teeth. What of it? Umberlai just dead ass puts a heel, like, bayonet as her ass, like, puts her foot against her throat gently. Tight. But in a, in a way where, like, she's gonna crush her fucking windpipe. Did your sister hurt my friend? She kind of grins and her head just slowly rolls back slightly. Hmm. Just a little. I did too, to be fair. And you see Umberlai starts putting her heel down more and more. Uh, if you would like to intervene, this may be the moment to do so. I think uh... your witness be let your witness be killed. <laughs> I think Ludo's rather enjoying the show, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, anybody, <laughs> anybody else can intervene. I think Ludo's. I just like kind that of... shit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push her back. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. She, no, she's intervening. Yeah, she 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 goes back without a fight and just kind of huffs. Thank you. Then I'm gonna grab Petal by her hair and drive her off somewhere else. Whoop! <laughs> ah! <laughs> just get dragged away. Uh, where are you taking her? Just taking her outside the tent? Or oh, we're to gonna another? have a talk. Okay, talk. cool. Um, yeah. Where, do you kind of drag her outside, just out of instant view of Umbrella and mm -hmm. the others? You guys can continue. We'll get back to me in a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Umbrella, I will thank you as you kind of push her back, though. Uh, not by her hair, way more <laughs> gently, and, you know, with the... Well, okay. Not, not by her hair, way more gently. Uh, Ludo also uh, escorts Umberlai <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> <sighs> he just, like, scoops her up into his arms, newlywed style, oh, and uh, nods, nods to Millie, <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> Leaves the tent to find some place. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Um, let's go to let's go to Umbrella first. <laughs> Umbrella and Ludo. What? Oh, I was trying to find some place private for us because that was very very nice. Oh, really? did you think you were in trouble? A little bit, yes. You put me in air jail. Oh, no, no. This is uh, me wanting to thank you for being so protective of me. Uh, and uh, me maybe giving myself some of the relief from all of the stress of today. It's mutual. He peeks yeah. into a tent to see if there's anybody in there. Oh, my God. In... So you're looking for a different tent that's not this one? Yeah, so we're looking for some place unoccupied. It's not a case of occupied. Uh, it's a case of on fire, on the floor, completely broken. Um, roll an investigation check for me, though. <laughs> Come on, give me that nat 20. I've never needed it more than now. Okay, 18. <laughs> okay, you t fuck. Uh, you do see... Rolls a one. You found a bush. Oh my god, I know exactly what you see. Um, oh, Jesus. You see one tent. Um, judging from the type of canvas they have used, um, they have seemingly draped um, some kind of scaly material on the outside. It is a tent you are familiar with. Oh? It It is Amelia's tent. <laughs> oh, well, perfect. I, she's probably busy. <laughs> she... <laughs> uh, I go to the tent oh and I, God. I open the tent without without knocking first. I peek yeah, in. Yeah, no one's in there. Watch the stack of books in there. 
Okay. <laughs> um, you do indeed see stacks of books, um, lots of hunting, um, various trophies, um, books about creatures, and then to the side, about six sketchbooks um, of various um, thicknesses. The top one is a little open. Um, on a page that has a very beautifully uh, drawn dragon on it. Uh, Bifon, did you draw any of the dragons in her friend book? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Would you like it was to describe? two of them, I believe. Uh, there was a beautiful green dragon with a long neck and long sort of... Um, <clears throat> wings kind of like more of like a sinewy kind of a dragon and mm -hmm. then uh, a bit more of a beefy one that one i did before i went to sleep it was a little bit more a little bit more blocky and black and almost looks like it's made of stone nice those are the two dragons you see uh with bifon's name signed underneath it's very um. intricate bf <laughs> <laughs> Uh, keeping in mind to uh, avoid the books as best as possible. Ludo is uh, very much in a hurry and very much uh, impatient <laughs> in his uh, search mm -hmm. for a place. Um, mm -hmm. Using the same uh, kind of theory behind, you know, if you're supposed to reward, uh, you know, if, if you're training someone and they do a <laughs> behavior that you like, you're supposed to reward them. <laughs> uh, Ludo applies a similar kind of tactic here. Showing his appreciation gonna... quite thoroughly and quite uh, fastidiously. She's gonna roll an insight check on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's certainly oh. not hiding his intentions. Okay, no, more so for the trained part of things. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh God, she does have. Does she have? I forget if she has mad insight or mad something else. Um. Yeah, she does have mad insight. That's. That's a 12, so it's okay. up to you if you want to roll a, uh, to roll against that or uh, let it ride. I let think it ride. Quite, <laughs> quite the opposite. Day. I think I'll, I'll roll a persuasion to make it more obvious that he was very happy with what she did. That's a 22. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy with what she did. He would like her to do that more often and uh, intends to do the same for her. And uh, this is uh, exactly the kind of relationship he wants the two of them to have. Protecting I... each other to the death and bending laws to whatever best suits oh their my needs. God. I, are you rewarding me for doing something you approve of? Rewarding? Uh, I suppose so. Uh... I like what you did, and it made me happy, and I want to make you happy because I want you to do that more often. Very interesting. You know why? She traces a finger down your shoulder. Why? Down your arm. Well, because I was really looking forward to rewarding you for coming back alive. Okay, me first. <laughs> and immediately fade to black. <laughs> uh, Bifo, would you like to go next? Sounds like my relationship, actually. <laughs> Should we cut to Bifo in the interrogation? This is perfect. Yeah. From, from one... It is sex and violence, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Let's trade off back sure. and forth, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so you have, uh, you have Petal by the hair. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to do? I am just found, like, a little log that I'm sitting on, and I just prop her up against it. Um, and, um... I just sit there and... Start working on another dragon drawing for Amelia. Oh. Um. 
I thought... I thought you were gonna... Are you just gonna sit here and draw? Really? I am not in the greatest of moods right now. So if I decide to kill someone, I want you close by. Don't worry, I'll take off your bindings and make it a fair fight. Hmm. You know anything about demons? <laughs> I've got a lot of inner ones, if that's what you mean. Hmm. Not really, though. Do you know anything... Well, shouldn't say do you know anything, you obviously do. What's the deal with you, Tyrion? With a Tyrion? Yeah. How so? What's the deal with her? Well, like One of you seem very intent to want to kill her. Ah, I see. Well, think of it this way. Me and my sisters were here as a means to an end. The bitch with the fireballs? We're, we don't work in the same department. Though we are part of companies with aligning goals. What she wants with a Tyrion? I don't know. But people would have a lot of reason to want to speak to a Tyrion. She's smart. She knows Arcana stuff. She could probably help a lot of people out of a bind. Ah! Bind. Good one, me. Looks down at the, <laughs> the ropes around her. You do, at this point, it becomes even more clear just how much rope Amelia used to really make sure she wasn't going to escape. There is copious <laughs> rope. Like, she is like cartoon levels. Like cartoon levels. Like, she's 90% rope right now. And then it's just her head <laughs> sticking out and a bit of, a bit of legs. <laughs> just a little inchworm. Yeah. Some paint just, on her head couple of fingers sticking out, yeah. Mm. I'm actively laughing. I want her to know that I find that funny, too. Especially for what's about to happen next. Um, oh. So. <gasps> you want to run that by me again while you guys are trying to kill us? Something about beasts or something like that? Like, I thought you guys... Uh, <sighs> I guess you guys don't have, like, a good guy, bad guy sort of thing going on. You'll just destroy anything. Meh. Look, I wasn't the head of the operation. I don't know if you can tell. <sighs> Even to the end, my sister friggin' pushed me under the bus. The air bus. The airship bus. <laughs> Boat. Boat, yeah. My sister yeah. pushed me on... Thank you. The, I couldn't remember the word. Punched me really hard back there. Um, my sister pushed me under the boat. Turned me into Ludo's whatever so that I would be friggin' attacked. So she could puppet me one last time. Like... It's just bullshit, you know? But yeah, I'm not, by any means, the head organizer of any of this. I was mostly just following Arielli to see you know, what she wanted to do and make sure it got done. Um, in terms of the Nightingales, it's just a little bit less uh, morally, morally good than people know it to be. I was just like, oh, aren't those the people that help with monsters? And they were like, yeah, but also any bestial people that aren't really people should, like, die and stuff. I was like, well, that's pretty crazy. And they told us So, what about... is it that makes us not people? Oh. You know, the tricky thing is, 
The lines got real blurred. It's like, oh, well, they have to be human. And it's like, well, do elves count as human? And they're like, yeah. It's like, okay, but does a does a genasi? And they're like, eh, sometimes. I mean, it's like, what do you mean sometimes? Like, they're, I think they're just, they're just killing people. You know? I think they're claiming for it to be for a reason, but... I think they oh, just your hate... sister's dead? Well, if you killed them. Which, uh... I killed one of them back there. I think the other two had already died, so... I think it's just me now. Junie didn't survive. Do. Well, the plan was to murder you guys, but, uh, clearly, I did not go well. And, uh, changing profession could do me a good service. So, you guys will probably torture me, try and get information I don't know out of me. And I'll probably die? I don't know. Not really much to plan for, the way I see it. Ifam makes a show of putting his dagger back in its sheath. You draw? I've, I've Anybody can draw. Oh, okay. Tears out a little bit of parchment. Is there a quill? I've had it. <laughs> uh, with what hands am I supposed to draw? He undoes her right. Are you righty or lefty? Lefty. And does her left arm. He sits. Um, then he goes back to what he's doing. Keeps it would, yes. It would have been so funny if you'd unbound her right arm. <laughs> <laughs> Purposely <laughs> fuck her up. Sorry. <laughs> Just figured I'd say that while I roll. Oh god. Okay. Um. She she begins to draw what appears to be a caterpillar. Um, and then, and then a lake, and then a house, and then it goes back to being a caterpillar. Um, <laughs> roll a, god, perception check, I guess, to see what she's trying to draw, because it's, it's not abundantly clear right now. Ah, uh, I got a nine. Um... It's something organic, I think. Probably. She's not very good at drawing. You, you don't need a perception check to know that much. <laughs> <laughs> there. Is it chrysalid of some sort? <sighs> nope. Um, your childhood home. It's a freaking daisy. It is not a daisy. Oh, oh. It is not a daisy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, not here. Let me, tears off another piece of parchment and hands it to her. Keep going. Well, what else should I drop? Like, is this a test? Sure. Am I gonna die if I don't draw good? I'll think about it. Maybe it'll stick me in the neck with the quill right now. Um, she's gonna try and draw again. <laughs> God. Oh, um, this time it is a very primitive but discernible butterfly. Just very simple lines. Wobbly lines. So it's got the little wings and the little pattern on the wings. So what are you going to do with yourself now? I mean, the answer is still probably the same. Still probably going to die, so... Nobody's attempted to kill you yet. Okay. No one in my party has attempted to kill you yet. 
side of a fight. Maybe you'll get lucky. Nah. We'll see. Well, speaking hypotheticals then, what would you do if, say, I were to let you go? Mm. Well, go into hiding. Because if I survived, it would probably be because you guys would let me go after interrogating me. Because if you know, I didn't give you answers, it probably wouldn't lead to me getting let go. So I'd probably have to find some kind of subterranean place and hope that... Your sisters are all dead. Who'd want to kill you? Well, fireball lady. For what? Like I said, if, you know, I give you guys information, or she believes I have, that's enough to get rid of me. Look, I'm not important, okay? I know. Obviously. Yeah, right? So, yeah, I'd probably go and live underground, find a permanent glamour change, and, you know, work in mines or something. Hmm. Miss Butterfly, here's some more paper. Keep practicing. And Bifong goes to doing his drawings. Stays quiet. Okay. Well, if you need anything like a drink or something. Meh. Yeah. It takes her a while, but she does eventually start drawing again. <laughs> Allura and Tarquin. While Bifon is drawing uh, with, with one of the interrogatees, and Ludo is... Um... Oh... <laughs> Something that rhymes with ease. Uh, I will let your imagination go wild. Happy Valentine's Day. What are you guys up to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to go talk with Doctor, if that's possible. Um, he is currently asleep and resting. But you okay. can certainly see if you can wake him up. He has died, like, tw twice in the <laughs> last two days. <laughs> Full died in the last two days, twice in the last two days. So um, he might he might take a bit of coming round, but you can certainly try. I mean, if he's really really need to recover, I'm gonna let him sleep. Mm. But uh, you do I see don't know. Nadir next to him. Just kind of looks up at you. Oh, he he is out of it. So, how badly was it? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna d I'm gonna do the D and D thing to myself now. He's he's died twice in the matter of two days. It's it's uh taking its toll, but he'll he'll be all right, I'm sure. All right. I've never met you before, but what you did was impressive. So, I wanted to say thank you. For all that you've done. Hmm. Likewise. I was worried that uh, having such formidable allies in a completely different place where disaster was happening was going to be a terrible thing, and uh, for a moment there it was, but the fact you made it back certainly helped. Well, I guess uh, we all have to stay along with each other and help each other out. That is what we have to do when things go south. Hmm. She nods. I'm gonna roll something real quick. Feels like it's been a long time since I've done this. Whee! <laughs> <sighs> Just cursed! Any do you know who Tarquin is cut rolls are cursed. <laughs> Actually, no, she has good history. She has good history. We'll do advantage. Okay! What was your... Name again, sorry. What was my name? Uh, <laughs> uh, you did a good job, so I will let it slide. Uh, my name is Tarquin. Tarquin. 
Of course. That name rings a bell. It's why I asked. I hope you don't mind. I didn't uh, no, you. no. I mean, uh, maybe you got hit in the head by a fireball and you forgot. It's all right. I don't got worry. hit in the head by three, but I survived, so, you know. Uh, that explains it, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't have forgotten about it. But well, um, I'd be dead. Yeah. Uh, that would be bad. So anyway, you were saying? Yes, I uh, I wanted to speak with Doctor, but it seems like he needs to rest. So maybe next time you tell him that I came looking for him. Of course. Uh, is there any message you want me to leave with him? Uh, there is. Two things that I have to discuss with him. One related to the people that uh, unfortunately suffered uh, with their lives and the other one is something personal that I would like to talk with him. So I'm thinking maybe he will understand at least the second one. She raises an eyebrow in acknowledgement. I will do. Thank you, Nodor. I will go meditate now because I have worn out all my energy and I have to recover it. I'd go quickly. Looks like uh, the mistress is almost ready to leave. Wilda, it was nice talking to you. You too. Stop by again sometime. You know, when the world is less on fire. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you. Okay. And I'm and... going to go meditate next to a fire. Okay. <laughs> What are you meditating? What, what, what are you focusing on? Or are you just zoning everything out? Yes, basically trying to regain uh, like spiritual energy. Okay. Recover the key, if you will. Gotcha. You know what? It wouldn't be a religion check, but by spirituality. Roll a religion check for me, please. All right. I might be feeling nice. <laughs> Seven. I'm not feeling nice. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. But you there are feel... gods in this world. That's yes. <laughs> you spiritually, you do feel slightly rejuvenated. Um, okay. Although the the kind of secret, kind of not prayers, but appeals in the back of your head to whatever spirits are out there to, you know, rejuvenate a bit more of your energy when not listening, it seems. Unfortunately. Allora. Allora. Sorry. I'm just... Allora. <laughs> what are you do? What are you want to do in this moment of respite? Allura is gonna curl on up and take one of those potions for the long rest. Nice. Do, 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 do. Does she purr in her sleep? <laughs> it's not too far. <laughs> and you not, up... not in human form, I don't think. <laughs> you wake up with the effects of a long rest, so you can take a long rest. And that should hopefully rejuvenate all of your spell slot and such like. And thusly. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to do? Because the catnip takes all of twelve seconds. <laughs> I don't. I don't think there's. A, the, this is the interesting part. Is Luro didn't really get attached to anybody. I, I think, like, other than the the main people within the group. So there's not really anybody for Luro to um to simmer in the go talk to. <laughs> Um, that is fair enough. Who is gonna... Ah, that isn't gonna happen now. Yes. Um, you see... Uh, Fene kind of looking around with her, uh, loot by her side. Sees Tarquin meditating, sees the other two have left. Kind of makes her way over. I don't think we've properly, properly, properly met. Aluro, at your service. Fenella de say, man at yours. Uh, thank you for ravaging that, uh, Sabones over there. 
did a number on him. Of course. Didn't feel good. Did you like hit any intestines or anything? No, no. Well, okay, maybe a little bit, but yeah. shush. That's for the best. <laughs> Trust me, that is for the best. He's a piece of shit. If you can't tell from him trying to snatch me up into the sky, whatever was going on there. Um, you're going up to the palace in a moment, right? Yes, that's the plan. I have a really big favor to ask. Oh. Well, uh, ask away. Would you be able to find a way to convince Mr. Satyrian to take me up there? Maybe. Why do you want to go? Well, uh, you know, a girl's got her reasons. <laughs> Uh, and yet you can't share them with me. Interesting. I might be open to. But... It's something real close to my heart. And I don't know if it'll, you know, go well for me, but... You don't know unless you try, right? Right. I feel like all of this is part of a bigger picture. Like, I might. Oh. You, you see, she's very much arguing with herself as as to what to tell you and how much to tell you and whether to tell you anything at all. Maybe you can tell me just a little bit. Just enough. To have the idea. But, uh... Not enough to intrude on your space. Roll a persuasion check at advantage. Twenty-two. Nice. She can't really say no to that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, to tell the truth, uh, no gimmick. I know about her. I have known her for a long time. Not since all of this wacky doodle dandy shit, but I have known her a real long time. And I am from Osprey, and I might have some information that would be. Potentially useful to Mistress Tyrion's cause. However, I don't... Respectfully... I don't know her like that. I keep home close to home. And you kinda got that... Osprin smell about you. I don't know if you're from there or you've been there, but... You look like you'd fit right in. And you ever get that feeling that something's going on and you should go and check just to make sure? Of course. Well, I got that feeling. And maybe going up to the palace will help me find it. And if so, then... I might be able to help even more. Have even more to say. To aid you on your journey. 
I know that's a lot of poetic hooly gooly from a bard lady that you barely know, but, uh, <laughs> you know, what's life without a little risk? What's life without a little hooly gooly? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Sometimes gotta have a little bit of hooly gooly shooly dooly, you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes life great. You know, I, sco I stole a skyship once. You great. stole a skyship once. I mean, it crashed, but uh, it was great while it lasted. <laughs> uh, still paying off that debt. But hey, I would really appreciate it if you could find a way to convince her to get me up there, or some other way to, you know, sneak me up there without her no knowing, if you feel that that would be more appropriate. I would certainly make it worth your while. Well, we will see what we can do. I make Sounds no promises. I wouldn't ask you to. But, it sounds like a plan. Kind of, um, ghost boops your nose. <laughs> 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 and, uh, heads back over and sits on the table and carries on plucking away at her, at her loot. So. Uh, Ludo, how are we doing? <laughs> would, you, would you like to roll for shits and giggles, or are you Oh, good? yeah. Constitution check. <laughs> Constitution? Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, uh, Constitution's not great. Maybe, sh you know, we don't have a lot of time, so maybe not Constitution, maybe Strength check. Oh god, does does Umberline need to roll anything? Uh, what's her armor class? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to her? <laughs> you know, you know, I did just I did just drink the potion, but also, you know, I just got stabbed. It's uh maybe not as you know, it's maybe a little cramped in this tiny little tent. I only rolled an eight. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think that's gonna hit. Um, so oh. it's, it's about the time spent together. It's not about the. Uh, it's, okay. It's um, not about the uh, results, um, right? Um, um, it's um, about the um, journey, um, not the destination. Um, 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 is gonna come in with the with the assist and roll for performance. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, you need the help. <laughs> hey, performance is not faking it, is it? No, that would be deception. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there oh, you go. Boom. So, uh, strength check was 8, but the persuasion check was 22. So she is very convinced that she had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, Willikers, fuck. Uh, she rolled a... <laughs> she would roll performance at advantage. She's, she's, lear <laughs> she's learning how to circumnavigate Ludo. Um, I don't think we're gonna get any higher, no. Um... She got a 26 for performance. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... <laughs> that's a lot of hooli gooly right there. You, that's, that's, that's a lot more hooli oh gooly than I was expecting. <laughs> gonna make hooli gooly happen. There's still time. Um... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Incredible. Um, yeah. Do you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, maybe he came in here intending to, uh, to, f to fight a one-sided fight, but ended up, uh, losing in the end. And she, she, she clearly won. Clearly. It happens. It happens. <laughs> it's he, not a disappointment. He put on a good show. In, in a fight like this, does anybody ever truly lose? <laughs> um, I, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> can, can happen. <laughs> roll uh, a three for dexterity, and then she rolls it. <laughs> like, oh. uh, so uh, Ludo and Umberlie come back into the tent with everyone else, and uh, he's still carrying her um, uh, uh, newlywed style. He's maybe looking a little more chagrined, and she's maybe looking pretty smug. Um, she's poker facing it pretty well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then uh, he sets her down kindly and. Uh, Respectfully, she's a bard. 
and, and not Fair. not every bard, but this we're one. talking about Umberlie. Yeah. Also, in case it's not become clear, um, Umberlie and Finay are basically twins from opposite sides of the world, um, and with slightly different accents. Otherwise, I was wondering they are about that. Surprisingly, kind of both idol magical girl vibes. Um, <laughs> it is it is a popular it is it is a popular uh, sub brand of bard. <laughs> idol and, magical girl, I love that. You know, can anyone really be surprised? Um, <laughs> all right, be funny, you heading back in, and are you bringing are you bringing petal? Petal. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just gonna leave her out. Okay. Okay, bye. Well, she learns how to draw. <laughs> she keeps drawing. Um, she's getting kind of into it now. But yes, we all meet back up at the um, at the head tent. Nikta still seemingly in her office. Um, and you see a Tyrion at the table, kind of having packed up her stuff bringing around some scrolls and whatnot. Right, are we all set to go? I didn't know Icta was here. We need to talk. Mm, Icta's, uh, Icta's in her back office. That you spoke to her in that one time off stream. <gasps> Secrets! <gasps> no. <laughs> well, I don't know if I should talk to her now or if we should wait till we get to the Ikta's not, uh, Ikta's not going to the palace. Oh, then I better talk to her now, then. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> Hello, Ikta. She's going... <laughs> um, I'm going <laughs> to gonna roll for a shit singer, girls. Hey! That's terrible. Um, you see, like, just as you come in, she's got both elbows on the desk and is just, like, holding her head up, like, her fingers just resting underneath her brow and just pinching her sinuses with the rest of her fingers. And she, as quickly as she can when she hears you come in, readjusts to professionalism. Hi! Uh, ah. Oh. Be fun? How's it, how's it going? I come in, take a seat in front of her desk, and get into the exact same position as she was just in, and I say, <laughs> you don't need to bullshit me. How's it going? <laughs> um, she she looks around the room, looks up at you, and just kind of a knowing look of of just everything's on fire. What you know, everything's on fire. What do you expect? <laughs> that it is. It's gone down a little bit. Yeah, we've had some of our mages putting out the fires, thankfully. On you. So, you figure you're the person I need to talk to about this, or at least you could probably point me in the right direction. What do you know about demons? Usually bad news, whole variety of them. Uh, demons, demons, demons. Pretty nasty a lot of the time probably don't do a deal with them. Uh, anything specifically about demons? Mm. What was the, uh, didn't we have an item? Luca? Uh, y'all saw that she had an amulet with the four. Dang it, I know I forgot to do something. You didn't take the amulet? With the... You can, you kind of taken the amulet. You, you kind of take, sure. You kind of taken the amulet if you want. <laughs> well, I can draw make, a picture of the symbol. It, yeah, it doesn't make a huge difference whether you take it or not, just for context. So, yeah. I'll show her the symbol. Um, I also ask her, do you know anything about necromancy? Just gonna roll an insight check. <laughs> you know about demons? You know that? Oh, that's terrible. Um, she just kind of rubs her face, 
Um. Also, usually kind of a bad thing. Uh, bringing people. Well, necromancy is more so like raising armies of the dead and. Ah, okay, I was thinking about that shit. the wrong way then. What do you know about shit-sucking traitors? Shit-sucking traitors? Yeah. You kick them in the nuts. Cool. If you mean the ones that you guys brought back, I'll be interrogating them while you're up having a nice meal at the palace. You can roll an insight check for shits and giggles. What's your passive insight, actually? That might be faster. Uh, I'm plus five on that. Nice. Um, yeah, you, you see a little smirk <laughs> kind of right in the back <laughs> corner of her mouth when she says about torturing and interrog well, interrogating them. Not yeah. Torturing them. Nobody said it. Oh, easy on the one with the shit on her head. Um, just ask her to draw you pictures or something. Might take a little while to interpret them, but she'll tell you what you need to know. I'm not What can you tell me? Fully yes. Torture them. Like, I'll fully. go in, but. And then I'll just go into a level there? that is reasonable and does not break any laws or codes. We may be desperate gotcha. for information, but we're not as bad as those guys. Punching them underneath the arms and stuff so the bruises don't show. Gotcha. She takes a What do you know about <laughs> your? <laughs> your? Yeah. I would have to leave that matter to you with Mistress Aterian. I believe you'll find out more information once you head up to the palace. Your will be accompanying you, however. Cool. That's why I'm here talking to you. Oh, really? I'll be frank with you. Of course. Cool. I'd rather you do. Well, first thing is, I got a dead gal that I need to get alive. You don't say. And I'm wondering if you know anything about this demon stuff so I could perhaps get started on that second thing is might want to keep your eye on your why so before we met up the other day I was trying to get away from um, the lovely uh, sisters of uh, the nightingales Ugh that were hunting me down. Before I finally slipped them, I heard a very familiar voice talking to them. Your. I did say that. It was your, wasn't it? Yeah, it was totally your. I don't know why else you would have brought it up, to be frank. Yeah, I... In return. I just like spy shit. It's fine. No, it's cool. It's super cool. Look, I don't know what your alliances are, your allegiances are, but you seem to be one of the more trustworthy people here. What was the nature of their conversation, if you heard it? I don't know much. There wasn't much said, other than, what is she doing dealing with them? You know they tried to kill us, right? Specifically, me and my party. Apparently, we're beasts. So we fall under this whole jurisdiction the Nightingales have made up for themselves. Yeah, we'd heard rumors, but we didn't think it was as widespread as it seems to be. So, don't fret. That will be brought up in gentle conversation and tea with Petal later. What do you know? Nothing more than you do. We'd heard some rumor of attacks and Nightingale's gone rogue, but it seems to be happening on an increasing basis at this point. Mm. Beyond just a coincidence. 
As for demons, that would have to be something you spoke to a Tyran about. All I could tell you is how to shoot one up the ass and make it hurt. I liked you for a reason. Thanks a lot. If you hear of anything, especially on getting the dead girl up and running, please do let me know. Likewise. As a matter I of fact... Say... Mm. Please go on. I think it turns... Yeah. He's been abducted or something. What, are you Tyrion? Yeah. A what? Been Who are you talking about? Abducted. We went over to see... We went over to check on him already. Oh, And the Tifima. guy was gone, but there was... No, Tefima, yeah. That's right. That's what I was going to say. Okay. I thought you were going to say yeah. the same thing as I was going to say. <laughs> so Tefima's... We, we... We both basically started with the same... Yeah, anyways. We nailed it. What I was going to say is Tefima has been kidnapped, I believe. We feared as much. I'm yet to tell Itirian. She has enough on her plate right now. But that is also something we are looking into. Do not worry. God, apparently I'm going to talk to everybody. That's why I started with you. You... And a big help. What were you gonna tell me? The palace does have quite the library. There might be some information in there regarding the demons that could help you. Okay. In terms of a basic re revival, if you can find a cleric who's able to cast revivals and a diamond, big old diamond, should be fine. But if they're a cleric, yeah, pursuing their deity would not be a bad shout. You are fantastic. Do not work too hard. Can't promise anything. Enjoy your torture. I'll be seeing you. You take care, too. Okay. And Bifon returns after a couple of minutes <laughs> back out of the tent. But while he's gone, are any of you talking to Tyrion about anything? Is there anything you are preparing? Um, Luto, you've got a whole ass seagull and girlfriend to figure out <laughs> where they are going, <laughs> if they are going. Yes, etc. Do we know if we get to bring in like a plus one? I haven't asked. You can always <laughs> ask. You can always ask. Okay, yeah. I'll poke my head into whatever a Tyrion might be preparing. Um, she's just preparing in the main room, so you can just walk up to her. Hey, Ethereon, can I ask a question? Of course, Luto. It feels so strange to celebrate now when things are still on fire some places, but I wanted to ask, uh, can we bring somebody with us? to celebrate the have the dinner it it will be less so of a celebration than initially planned obviously with the events that have been ongoing this evening oh then what are we doing we will be having a feast with the royals speaking to them about what's occurred and then we will be continuing with business as usual as if none of this had happened but without the celebratory nature of things okay be a proposition and potentially business done well i ask because my friends we have some people who are very important to our group and uh what if we make a decision it's important that they're also there when we make the decision so even though they weren't with us on the hunt we still want them to come with us if we're going to make decisions for our future i see can i bring my bird and my girlfriend <laughs> Roll a first 
persuasion check, please. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know I say this every time I roll a dice, but I've never needed this more than anything. <laughs> oh, no. That's a nine. <laughs> you can potentially give yourself advantage if you pose a more persuasive argument. <laughs> if I'm going to be moving my life, I need to make sure that I have uh, the counsel of those who are part of my life. So I have some people who I think is very important that they come with us. With, it, with advantage, ooh, 21. In that case, do you trust them? Yes, of course. If they were holding a gun to my head, what would you do? I would know that they aren't going to pull the trigger because you're not a bad guy. They may come along. There will be parts of the meeting that they are required to leave for. But they may come. She gives you a gentle smile. He gives her a big smile back and runs to go tell friends and Umberlie the good news. <laughs> okay. Allura would also like to talk. Yes, go for it. And remind me one more time this character's name again. It's. Itirin with a Y. Itirin. It Itirin. Itirin, I have a person here that I think would be able to provide the royal family with some very unique and important experience in regards to the things that we are going to be talking about. Binet is their name. Hmm. I'm familiar. I would like to, if possible, bring them along. However, this is up to you. Roll persuasion at advantage. <laughs> Turns just like, oh god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Birdie Gird! Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up with Birdie Gird. <laughs> 16. She looks at you. If you were pointing a gun on my head, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I believe Miss Finney has potentially some use with accompanying us. Do make sure she doesn't steal an airship, though. You have my word. Somehow, Adirin also knows about that. <laughs> 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 okay, are we all ready to go? Um, I was wondering, could I bring somebody too? <laughs> oh, God, so bad. Who would you like to bring? No, I just wanted to know if I could bring some money. We can go now. At this point, uh, you all see um, the tent flap to the side open. And uh, Yor comes in slightly, slightly scorched, but otherwise not injured. Um, Yanka, still not in the tent or here, seemingly. Ah, right. That's all dealt with. And Tyrion looks to her. We're ready. Ah, oh, I just got back. Ah, <laughs> oh, shite. All right. Oh, are you all okay? You all help out easily enough. Ready to go. Ah, uh, all right then. Um, 
Do I really have to... Could you not use to... Oh, the clocks are gone. All right, well, uh... I'll meet with Victor afterwards for an update, so... Come on then, everybody aboard the worm. Um, she, uh, you all kind of leave the tent as a group with Ludo, Aloro, Tarquin, B1, Friends, Umberlai, Fnei, <laughs> <laughs> Itirian, and Yorin just looks back like, that's a couple more than I thought you were taking up there, boss. <laughs> might have to, uh, have you got any spare spells? We might need a bigger, bigger worm. Mm, you see a Tyran cast enlarge on the worm, so it's big enough to actually take you all. <laughs> nice. Um, what's everybody's pass passive perce perception checks? Passive passive perception checks. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Plus succeeds. High. As long as it's oh, above well. a thirteen, you see it. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. Noise. So everybody got above a 13? Is above a 13? I, uh, passive <laughs> perception is 12 for me. Oh, I'll say, no, 12. 12 will hit. It's fucking shiny. Um, you all see, because <laughs> in my rules, I can move the bar if I want to. Um, you all see as, um, the worm kind of spirals down to land for y'all to have yet another ride on um that uh your tosses a small glowing stone onto the floor um onto the grass just outside the tent right everybody on and she kind of steps on she parks the worm just off the side of the cliff so that you don't have to like climb up this massive beast to get on its back that's what she said happy valentine's day um so she pulls it up to the side of the cliff so you can just slide on easily not quite happy valentine's day <laughs> did you just did you just say she threw a thing in the dirt she threw a, a glowing stone into the stone into the stone into the yeah i want to use speech of beast and leaf real quick okay yeah, um... Are you gonna talk to the stone? I'm gonna talk to friends. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ask friends to go and pick that up and keep it in its mouth real quick. Ah. Uh, that's stealing. <laughs> I can't understand. I can only speak to, to <laughs> creatures. I don't know what they're saying back. He's either going to do it or he isn't. <laughs> you audience, you perceive, uh, you perceive friends to go. That's stealing. <laughs> I'm friggin' down though. Let's go. It's shiny. I notice he's um, not doing it. I just like just give him the eye. Just, like yeah, <laughs> just after <laughs> a second, he just <laughs> kind of goes. <laughs> and then he goes down, picks up the stone in his mouth. <laughs> Turn to him and I go. It's a lot harder to do with something in your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! And on that note, a meteor strikes the earth! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on fire again. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Ludo, you see that Friends has got something in his mouth. And I see that he was talking stone. to his uncle Bifon shortly before that. Yeah, I'd say with your with your passive perception, everyone in the group sees all of these events unfold. All right. He doesn't understand it, but he will pat Friends on the head and be like, "Good, you're supposed to <laughs> listen to your uncle." <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody's climbing on. Um, hmm. <laughs> I 
I don't know why my biggest question as a DM today has been, <laughs> would Umbra like get on behind or in front of Luda? <laughs> <laughs> She'd get on in front. Uh, <laughs> after, mm -hmm. after today, she's getting on in front. Um, kind of snuggles back into your lap. Aww. Uh, Fene will sit uh, next to um, Laura. Just go. Thanks for getting me on. I appreciate it. No worries. Um, Ludo, Sarkin, and Bifon, you all see Fenny coming along, and you're not quite sure why. <laughs> Fenny! Y yes? Hi! I, I wanted to thank you for, uh, oh, you, you did not give me Umberlai. She does not no. belong to me. But because of you, she is now in my life and I am thankful for you. I was about to say, it looks like it's all going well between the two of you. I think uh, so. <laughs> Umberlai just goes, yes. He is mine, though. I won him. And he's ever so good. And he'll just beam. <laughs> 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 and Bifon will follow the same rules that Ludo does and give him a punch in the shoulder and a thumbs up for not objectifying his girlfriend. <laughs> Good Yay! thing. So I'm going to do I'm going to reward him. <laughs> he beams even he beams to you. He's just full of smiles. <laughs> Friends Ludo. turns to you and just goes <laughs> Dad, Daddy did good, and he's just like so happy with himself. I fucking hate you for this. Umbly turns to you and just whispers, "Daddy did. Daddy certainly did." And bops your hat down in front of your eyes for a second. He holds it down because now his cheeks are red. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for supporting these adventures. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't say shit like that on the internet. Happy um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> um, <laughs> Not friends saying Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> he learned <Hi>. so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right. Oh god. Gold members of our coffee will re be receiving an MP3 of that later on. <laughs> <laughs> I might be kidding. I might not. We'll see how tired I am. Uh, <laughs> that's what she said. Okay. Hey. So you will board the worm. Nope. Not, not quite. Not quite. Happy not. Um, <laughs> and you see is this engorged. No, I'm kidding. Oh, God. It kind of is, though, because they're large. Um, you do see this magical blue iridescent uh, translucent form of worm fly you once again through the air and towards for the first proper time towards the um, palace of that's a bit ominous in here a little bit Sorry. <laughs> scary <laughs> just that what, a, what an awesome scene ah it's a bit scary isn't it uh, this this hmm yeah, this is a vibe. This is a vibe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you see this large, um, iridescent, translucent, sky blue worm, uh, kind of, with a beautiful glow to them. Now it's kind of uh, a lot later at night. Uh, kind of weave through the air. It doesn't take that long to fly you all over to the Pinnacle Isles and um, kind of land in front of the palace, uh, which is at this point glowing with its own radiance, uh, kind of a sphere of protection around it, just in case any further disaster should strike. And you pull up, kind of all see as the worm once again floats through the ground, kind of dropping you all off in a line 
as it does so before it comes back, swells over the cliff and quote-unquote parks out front. (laughs) (laughs) And you are all presented with the scene you found yourselves at earlier with the two uh, mysterious dead people, one of them slightly more wolf-like in nature, kind of dragged over to the side, some of the blood uh, cleaned up. And the doors of the palace before you. <sighs> right. Um, I'm going to go back and meet with the lady, Ikta. Um, I'll leave the worm here for you guys so you can get back if there is any need for it. And uh, yeah, and she takes the. Oh no. She t- <laughs> she, t- she takes the uh, second glowing stone out of her pocket and kind of flicks it into the air. Um, and she disappears. To all of you except Ludo. Uh, Ludo, you see that uh, where friends was sitting on your shoulder, mm-hmm. there is suddenly a <laughs> as friends <laughs> flaps away and kick, <laughs> and um, you now have your on your shoulder where friends <coughs> once was. Friends' mouth now empty of the glowing stone. Oh, what the... hello. Did you move the friggin' stone? Huh? Did did you move the stone? The glowing stone that I put down back at the tent so I could get back there? I, I don't know what is happening, but I wouldn't be there for long. She likes to put the foot on the throat. She- <laughs> um. Friends, friends is just kind of trying to hide behind Tarquin at this point. Very, very slowly, very gently. <laughs> kind of looks up at Beef One. Oh, friends does that sometimes. He's a hungry one. <laughs> everything has just been going so crazy with the fire and the everything, and he doesn't know what's going on. He's just thinking about his next meal. Probably saw you toss that out and thought maybe it was a little bit of garbage that he could snack on or something. <laughs> <laughs> Indignant. <laughs> and and your just looks at him and goes, Oh, yeah. seagulls are one to do that. <laughs> just ang- angry have a lapse. <laughs> um, well, uh, that slightly f- puts me at a disadvantage. All right, well, uh, I'll fly back over on the worm, and she picks the the other stone up off the floor, (laughs) puts it in her pocket, and yeah, I'll go fly back over and send the worm back in case you need it. All right, all right. She kind of gives a little glare at friends. (laughs) It's all right, little one. You gotta learn to not steal things. Don't care. <laughs> wait, wait, wait though. Wait, hang on. Where's her character can, sheet? Can she speak friends? <laughs> Where is her character sheet? <laughs> Where is her character sheet? Wait, oh no, I believe. Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> You see, you see your cast a spell on friends. You have to not steal things. And of course, the rest of you can only hear. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you should learn better than to do that next time. Hmm. I know, but you can't be doing that. What if you tossed it over the edge and I'd be in the ocean right now? (laughs) A 
That's all right, little one. All right. Got a good bird there. Looks at the group <laughs> and heads back over on the, on, on the on the worm. Um. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> That's only an 11 insight. I wanted to basically see if I could kind of glean what's going on here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everyone can roll an insight on it if you wish. <laughs> I'm going to roll an arcana on it. Oh, shit. I don't know what she did. <laughs> ah. You're doing that. Eight. It was on 18 and rolled to a 2, so I got a 3. Oh. Uh, it's some weird animal, animal thing. Rock bar. <laughs> ha -ba -ba. <laughs> this is just such cute ha -ba -ba bops. Ah, I got my 18 on the sleight of hand, though, so uh, <gasps> with a 22, I'll attempt to make him a tie. <laughs> Aww. A little, a little beef, a little, a, a little beef on tie for friends? Yeah, for taking the hit for us. <laughs> you, you absolutely. Make him a really good little tie with a 22. That's that's some top-notch quality tie, that is. Some good stuff. Just banging it out at this point. <laughs> Should start your own line. Mm. Of animal clothing. <laughs> I mean, we're going to a palace. Fighting. <laughs> Friends, Amazing. did you tell on your uncle? Friends is going to roll an insight check. <laughs> Friends goes... Okay, good. Utmost neutrality. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember, in this family, snitches get a stitches. <laughs> Very good. I don't know what you said, but very good. <laughs> oh man! With with the insight you got, though, you you could tell that, you know. She, she didn't turn to any of you and start accusing y'all. Yeah. So that's that something. I don't so he will uh, casting spells on her. That's all. <laughs> he will bust out a little sardine and give him a treat. I didn't know this is Ludo's thing, but yeah, he, he rewards people for good behavior, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it makes sense for somebody who's always carrying little snacks. So, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. All right. So, with that, um, Tyrion kind of looks at the chaos that's unfolding. Right. If we're all ready... Um, uh, Fene, could you? And Fene looks around at everyone who's a bit, um, worse for wear, you know, a bit tattered, sweaty at best, scorched, bleeding, um, post, uh, gutted, etc. <laughs> and so she just, ah, um, everyone stand together, and we're gonna do one of these. And she <laughs> prestidigitations everybody, cleans them, cleans them all up. Nice, Ooh. fresh, fresh scent of fresh laundry and mm. not death um, on <laughs> on everyone. It is rejuvenating. Um, Aloro still a little bit of scent of cat because it never fully goes away, but <laughs> cozy <laughs> smell rather than ooh cat. Uh, <laughs> For a Luro, scent of cat is clean. Exactly. Fresh, True. fresh washed cat. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, <laughs> or is the great Sam Regal named one of his characters in uh, Campaign Three, Pussy? Uh, <laughs> 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 That's your great roles fans out there. All right. So she knocks on the door to the palace, and. You see the doors simul simultaneously open into this less than, maybe less grand than you were expecting, but definitely um, fancy home, kind of has a Mediterranean feel to it with the high ceilings and kind of lots of air, airy spaces, a lot of spaces where the 
any breezes can easily get through and um, very fresh and very um, put together. And you see as you head into the main foyer with a spiral set, a large spiral set of stairs kind of curling around the outside of this inner dome. As like the rest of the shrines on the island, a lot of the um, buildings and the palace included are of that kind of cylindrical with a dome roof uh, shape. And the foyer being absolutely no exception. And greeting you at the door, uh, you see a red tiefling man, kind of a jet black, almost bluish hair, kind of scooped back into a loose ponytail. Um, a gorgeous um, rose embroidered kind of captain's jacket, almost pirate-esque, um, with very lush velvets and um, a beautifully complimentary red, because he's red, his coat is red, but it doesn't clash and it doesn't meld into one. It's just perfectly fashionably toned. Um, his chest is, um, the chest of the coat is open and underneath you see some bandages poking out from a fancy, slightly, again, well, I say slightly open shirt. It's pretty much open all the way, but um, it, he's wearing a shirt, kind of. <laughs> and these tight leather trousers with big, big boots, big, big piratey boots, um, but still fairly lean and fanciful. Those who have been to Ospra, so Aluro and Tarquin, I have a very important question to ask you. Would either of you ever have sampled some of the more romantic or sexual businesses within Ospra? I don't, I don't think, think so. Would... No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Neither of you know who he. Ah, uh, roll, roll a history check then. Just a straight history check. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, that's a four. <laughs> no clue. Very, very fashionable Oof. though. Oh. Twenty. Is this how it feels? <laughs> uh. <laughs> What is a nat one for a history check? Allura, you know exactly who this is. <laughs> uh -huh. And that will be revealed after the break. <gasps> oh, I was just about to say. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Dad? Father. Oh, oh. Are you my father? <laughs> oh my goodness. I got it so too. Fun. Uh, yeah. Yes, Ooh, we're in the powers. Exciting. <laughs> we're in the powers. Yeah, All right, friend, all. friends. <laughs> friends was had uh, speak with animals cast on him, and did not dob you guys in. Nice. He was just like, yeah, I know, I know, I need, I need to stop stealing. It's a bad habit of trying to drop it. <laughs> Nine really... Valentine's Day. Sorry. Good. I was just gonna say I'm really digging this like chaotic good kind of vibe we're we're building, where it's like we do good, mm -hmm. but not necessarily by the law. Oh, <laughs> like we yep. we do good by our own laws. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> allowed to do crimes because it's sexy when she does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. <laughs> But yes, we will be back in five to ten minutes time. Um, perfectly at the halfway mark. And it's like five minutes to the hour. So, oh, oh, the stars have aligned. Um, and yes, after we return, we will be heading into the palace for a very, very serious meal that isn't being accompanied by two bards and a seagull. <laughs> 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 That is a great band name, and they should pursue that uh, once we save the world. <laughs> yes! Go get snacks, drinks! See y'all in a little bit. Stretch dance! And see you soon! Going into Bye. BRB!
Hey, we're back. Hey. Yeah, friends with the zoomies would be very scary, but I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wanted to say, by the way, I didn't get to say it too much earlier, uh, but a big thank you for all the subscriptions and the and the Woo and the chairs yeah. and the bits. Huge generosity today. We hit a huge hype train. Big, big thank you to everybody for that. Big, big love. Chew, fucking chew. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you so much. Is there anyone new to say hello to? Really quick before we get going. Scorpio Slayer, how are you doing? Scorpio Slayer. Mm -hmm. Scorpio Slayer. Kitty Cat, one, two, four, five. Where did we go? I don't know. Um, <laughs> 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 um, I think I saw someone else early break. He's been in English. Jalin. S, -S, -S Jalin. Sajalin. Sholin. Chokar. I've, I've heard that. Chokar Uwer. I don't know if it's meant to be pronounced in an Australian accent, but I'm here for it. It is. It <laughs> what? is. Chokar Uwer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ichigo, adios. Hello. Oh, we did Ichigo. Oh. Did we get. Oh, hello uh, again. Hello Rihanna again. Rihanna and Simi? Yes. Yes, oh. yes, yes. But hello again, Ev everybody. Everybody. Hello, Sprout. Sorry for the nightmares. <laughs> 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 no one gets traumatized when they're five, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think. I don't think. Um, oh no, we did bring Umber life. Anything could happen. Um, Who knows? <laughs> Especially now that you, she, apparently she's unlocked her yandere, which I am here for. <laughs> What the, unlo <laughs> unlocked? <laughs> unlocked? Right. I, I no, didn't notice it before. Standard. It it came roaring to life in this <laughs> session. <laughs> uh, to, <laughs> to be fair, I think I think Beefon was the only one that uh, we managed to squish in a pre-session session for, and yeah, she, yeah, it, less of a surprise I think <laughs> from, that, <laughs> from that angle. Um, well, I she, deeply she appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> You're what? Look, you chose a psychopath, not me. All right. There was, was, was a lovely, nice monk lady with a bird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you went with the mad one. All right. That's 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 on you. Oh no, I love um, it. As someone who has been called the king of yandere before, I'm glad to have found my queen. Oh, sh <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just just the imagery of like. Hannibal Lecter Ludo, just like, do you like your meal? <laughs> <laughs> do, you like, they were, do you like your meal? <laughs> they were very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they weren't wearing a hat. So oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let us, let us get back into the story. Alora, with a natural one, you see before you someone you know exactly who they are. <coughs> oh. You've not seen them before. But as you think about it, it makes complete sense. The person you've been looking for this whole time, <coughs> you know to be a demonic deity, Actilina. Oh my god. You know that only one of infernal descent will be able to assist you in finding your way to them. But looking at this man in front of you, <laughs> looking at the clothing, the impeccable style, and aura, and mantidies, and the large spiral-like gazelle horns that adorn his head. I mean, that's that's as demonic deity King Yas Slay as you have ever seen before. You truly suspect this man in front of you to himself the Actilina. The deity that may be able to revive Luca. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that 
natural ones can be such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Oh, welcome in, Mistress Saturin. She kind of bows her head to him. I bring with you, with me, slightly more of an onslaught than expected. Um, please, friend, introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> friend puddles in ahead of everyone else. Just <laughs> oh, Ludo nods. Mm. Good. His name, oh, his, his name is actually Friends. That is my son, yes. <laughs> <coughs> I guess you see uh, this man does a small bow. <laughs> <to> your <son>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. Ludo will uh, uh, hurry up after Friends and uh, bring Umberlai with him. And uh, with his arm around Umberlai, he'll just smile, uh, smile to the man and be like, Are you the king? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Am I, am I the king? This is the palace, right? There's a king in there and a queen, oh. probably. Oh, I am. I am no king. I assure you. Oh. Well, I am Luto. Nice to meet you. Who are you? A pleasure. He is the demon savior. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nye, take a fucking point of inspiration for that. Thank Holy shit. Shit. Oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> she never lets me down. Oh, so this down. palace is from hell? <gasps> oh. Uh, I mean, you remember that, you know, poster that I was talking about and everything? It was... Uh, he's looking it's around. It's him. It's here just kind of... Very oh. quietly places two fingers on her forehead and closes her eyes. You're and the tries king to of hell. Imagine that she's not there. Um, he turns to her. I'm sorry, have we met? Uh, I, I fear you are quite mistaken. What? No, I mean, I I know for sure. It's it's obvious. Oh, oh, this happens sometimes. Have you been to Osprey? To the establishment he kind of raises an eyebrow the because establishment so, that was just a fantasy for the moment it, it's not it's not the truth i'm very confused me too I, so you're, I am... you're a devil Why don't we need some kind of devil right for uh, luca what is it yeah, see, yeah, exactly. That's, back to that's life? it. That's that's exactly. <laughs> yes, that's what I was Our talking about. Our friend died. Sorry for the confusion. Our friend died, and we need to talk to I'm a demon to or some kind of devil to bring her back. So I, f I feel as though the grief is wreaking havoc on you all. Uh, for my name is Riordan. I am uh, just opening the door and. Introducing you in. I am no king. Or well, you're the you demon sure? prince. Because if Aluro says you're the guy, then you're definitely the guy. I am. Like, I, I trust Luro. I am no demon prince, I am afraid. Yeah, but do you know how to bring the dead back to life? Demon, demon savior, they said. <sighs> demon savior. Hmm. Do you, um. It's up to you guys whether you want to roll insight on him to see if he's lying about being the demon demon savior. I know uh, he is because I trust course. my friend. I don't need to yeah, roll that's, insight. That's fair. Aluro <laughs> is going to roll insight. Aluro's confused. Yeah, I think he's confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he certainly is. Yeah. Uh, slightly alarmed, to say the least. Are there other demons of this is establishment quote unquote uh there there oh. there's a little bit of everything for everyone at the establishment oh, can you get us in touch we're kind of uh short on time our friend is i dead. roll <laughs> <laughs> i rolled insight and it's a two give me my next moves <laughs> <laughs> is that another natural one specifically no no not okay. a natural one and two <laughs> you did it. 
I, I don't even know where this would go. Um, <laughs> this is o open to interpretation for you, Nye. Like, <laughs> where, what, but whatever, whatever Allura is interpreting in this moment, whether she, whether they double down, whether they go in a, a different direction, whether his suggestion that it was just some uh, role play that occurred um, between the two of you, that is up to you. Which you discern whether this is a very good ruse for maybe that's it. Maybe you know. I think this he's is... just being humble. Yeah, this is the demon. He's like, he has to not reveal to anyone else that he's the demon savior. So, yeah, it might be best exactly. to talk to him like when it's quiet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. I, I am Riordan. I assure you, I am no demon lord, demon savior, prince. Any. Mm. Of that, I'll, I'll... Aluro's gonna go. Uh, yeah, guys, listen, it's it's true. He, he's not. I was just mistaken. And then Aluro's gonna turn to him and give him the biggest, <laughs> fattest wink in the world. <laughs> like dear, I got you. I got you. My dear, I'm, oh, I'm right. so sincerely fearful that you have misunderstood. No, no, no. Don't worry. I I understand now. Uh, you, you don't gotta worry about a thing. Oh, he's, he's not the demon savior. Oh. No, yeah. No, no. And we're put, totally so not gonna get a, a goat. You're still putting a thing. <laughs> you're still, I'm sorry, what? Uh, no, no, sorry. No, I didn't say anything. I... <laughs> Another okay. name for demon is the father of lies. Huh? See, he's tricking oh. us. And oh, those big chests. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. I. Um. Well, uh, Wilbur and Morena are waiting for you all in the main hall. Just. Straight ahead, under the through the big doors. I will not be joining you for the feast, though. Knowing now what I know, that may be for the best. Respectfully. Um. Umber like curtsies and and just goes. It's nice to meet you. Either, either way. Um. Oh God, would she? Have Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. Um, Umberlei, um, she's just kind of been looking around at the view until now. Oh! No, uh, no, you, you, y'all, wrong voice, dang it. Uh, you are all mistaken. <clears throat> that is Riordan. He works at a wonderful place in Osprey called the Establishment. Oh, me. yes. Osprey, wink. And for, for entertainment purposes, uh, company, if you will. Entertaining the souls of the damned. Well, some people would believe so. It's a pleasure to see you again, uh, Riordan. I have perused your wares and services before. Mm, I hope you enjoyed, and do not also consider me a prince of the underworld or some such. <laughs> no, I don't know what all that's about, but we shall talk about it. <laughs> Politely somewhere quiet where no one else can hear. Uh, come on. Move along. Okay. Um, so... Thanks for your help, <laughs> Rio. What are the rest of your names, then? Beefall. <laughs> A pleasure, Beef Beefall. Aluro. A pleasure. To meet you for the first time. <laughs> One mortal to another. 
Right. And you, sir? The Tarquin. I Wait, am Tarquin, on. the Prince of Angels. No. <laughs> <laughs> totally not a uh, human. I mean, an angel. I am completely human. Uh, whatever. You're an angel? No, because you're not a demon. <laughs> hey, Luto. Luto. Uh, yeah? Do you have salt? Oh, yeah, I do. I have Keep some very specific there is salt. Seasoning in the dining hall. Now it is for dealing with demons. <coughs> I've, I've specifically I highly, holy salt. Yes, I yes. Highly doubt you will find any demons here. All right. <clears throat> well, you heard my name. Tarquin, yes. The Remember that. Fallen, fallen angel or just, just a regular angel? Uh, the best kind of angel. <laughs> What is the best kind of angel? Uh, the kind of angel that doesn't need an introduction. So, whatever. <laughs> well, regardless, thank you for your introduction. Um, it is appreciated. We need to exorcise him. Should, <laughs> should I use this salt? It's holy salt. Yes, I think we should draw a circle around him. Would you move along so we can let everyone inside? The Tyrion just kind of not moving, just still eyes closed, fingers on her forehead, w wishing she was somewhere else. Um, kind of asks you all to move along so the rest of <laughs> the guests can come in proper. <laughs> um, Fawn just kind of walks around, Riordan sizing them up, <laughs> just looking them up and down. It's got, a, it's got a tiefling tail. The coat has a back. There are... Uh, yep, it's a guy. It's got a mm -hmm. nice ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> nice rose yeah. imagery on the... Passes the salt back coat. to Tarquin. Oh my fucking god. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Points <laughs> 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 his fingers at his eyes. Points to Rio. Uh, right. Um, he kind of just looks down. I'm, I promise you I'm not a demon. I know that's what a demon would say, but... I don't believe there's any convincing you. Um, at this point, uh, Fanai comes in, and, uh, she kind of, what is all the hubbub of, uh, and you see them make eye contact. Everybody roll an inside check. <laughs> Ew, did they do? The Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, that's, that's for you to roll on. Nine. Eighteen. Oh. Twenty-two. <laughs> nice. What'd you get, Laura? Two. <laughs> oh. Laura. It was almost to, a key to answer 20. your earlier earlier question. Yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> Bifon, you see that there is strong emotion coming from the two of them. Uh, difficult to discern what kind. You know, they could be about to run each other through with a sword. They could be about to make out. They could be about to, I don't know, do something else entirely. It's hard to tell. It's about right. Ludo and Tarquin. There is something in the look of returning back to family after a very long and very difficult time. Oh. And 
And that is the look these two are giving each other. It is, in part, holy fuck, you're still alive. And in part, what the fuck are you doing here? And in part... Well, the next part is spoken aloud. I've, I've missed you so much. And she runs towards Riordan and gives him just the biggest, the biggest hug. The biggest, big hug. Um, and she <laughs> scatters the salt as she runs at force to go, and, <laughs> to go and hug him. And he just goes, What are you, what are you doing here? I could ask the fucking sign. We thought you were dead, you idiot. We thought you were dead. Oh, God. Are you all... Are you okay? Are you, are you, you're really here. This... Okay. Fene, you're oh. part demon? What? This is okay. your brother, cousin? Dad? Are you demon? No, no, no we're, we're friends. We have been for... A very long time. <laughs> Oh. You see, she tries to reel, reel back her emotions and um, become slightly more presentable again. Um, please don't let me keep y'all. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably come and talk to you if that's all right. Ruining. And he just nods and says, "Yes, please. Um, all of you, help yourself here at the main hall." Um, your company is expecting you there. And kind of holds, um, holds Fenet's hand and they make their way up the, up the stairs somewhere. Um, and just before she goes, um, Fenet will message you, Alora, and just say, You were spot on the feeling. Thank you. You're welcome. And he's not a demon. <coughs> I don't. I don't know where. Wait. Wait. Re, 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 I trust you. I'm. I'm paying attention to everything you're saying right now. Are you sure that he is not a demon? Well, all tieflings are demonic in origin, but. That does not a demon make. Huh. <laughs> okay. Something new today. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, they vanish upstairs. Well, that was quite the show. Let's perhaps not accuse every ally we come across of being a demon now, shall we? Okay. Besides, his story is his to tell. If he would like to go into any further detail, he shall do so at his own behest. It is not for me to share. Are we all ready? Let's eat. And she nods and pushes open these grand doors into um, a new song when I find it. <laughs> um, she pushes open the great the doors into this um, equally kind of ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, sure. Uh, into this kind of grand, again, somewhat more humble uh, than you would have uh, imagined. Uh, kind of grand ballroom come dining room. Um, this beautifully set up long table uh, in the center, kind of around these white, pure white um, and wooden walls contrasting each other in these beautiful deep blue tiles on the floor um, 
which seemingly have a view into this luscious garden that grows within the centre of the palace. Kind of indoor-outdoor vibe. At the table, you see uh, two people sitting at the um, the head of the table. Table, table, table. You see uh, a familiar from the various sketches and art you've seen about the event. Um, kind of earthen Janasi man with uh, shaved sides of the head, kind of with these beautiful, swirled, almost air-like elemental patterns, and the rest of his hair pulled back into a short, uh, controlled ponytail, little ponytail, uh, high up. And uh, wearing kind of like a monk's garb, kind of like the monk's garb that you've seen here and the pilgrim garb, but a lot fancier. Um, a little fancier, actually. It's not, again, it's not, they're not really rubbing in wealth um, with the palace. It's, it's slightly more homey and still grand, but more so a shared, like the feeling of a shared space or a communal space rather than exclusive. Although with the events of the day, it feels a lot more exclusive, but that's because there's less people. Next to him, you see another slightly familiar face from various arts and sketches. You see this elven woman, uh, but where elven kind have varying skin tones, Specifically, the texture of her skin seems to be more like that of bronze. Um, or the sheen of it, less so than the texture. It's not like she's made out of metal, but her skin is metallic. Um, this beautiful deep bronze, um, with this uh, hairdo kind of half down and half up. Uh, one side down, the other side up, rather than front and back. Um, wearing clothes more more regional to Osprea, kind of the more again mediterranean flowy open um kind of hinged and uh pinched together with beautiful adornments and jewels and slightly slightly more glam <laughs> slightly more glam than um ash sky and fashions um but they both sit at the end of the table there are a couple of dishes about, um, but not not that many meals for a feast, weirdly enough. And they both stand to greet you. Um, and the man you know to be Wilbur, uh, kind of throws his arms wide. Ah, oh, welcome. It is good to see that you have all made it here. In one piece, no less face kind of his uh, brow kind of furrows slightly but come we've much to discuss it is a pleasure to have you in our home uh, you likely know us already but nothing beats a good introduction my name is Wilbur Frenze I am I guess Prince of Ash Sky I suppose I the legalities of it would be. And uh, you see Morena kind of nod and smile at you all. Hello, and my name is Morena. I am the now, I also suppose, princess of Ash Sky and the Corsicles as well. It's a beautiful land. You must come if you've not been before. But please, take a seat. Um, we are afraid the food is rather humble, as we made sure that our uh, our staff were able to get away safely in case of any further disaster. But there is some to share. Thank you. you. Take your seats. Yeah. Very Screen. impressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a couple of small sharing platters with various pitas and uh, grilled veggies and fish. Um, 
It's really not that much food, though, unfortunately. Lacking beef. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so, uh, obviously we know you, the Mistress of Tyrion. Um, what may we call the rest of you? Bifon the Sears. Bifon the Sears. Pleasure. Luto Bayani. A pleasure, Luto Bayani. Mm, I give up, huh? Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll real quick. Oh! Oh. A pleasure to meet you too, sir. <laughs> Your yeah. face rings a bell. Your name too. Uh, good on you. No wonder your royalty. I see. <laughs> Only the smart people. Not much escapes us. I like that. So you are from Osprey then? Yes. I would take it maybe... If I'd have heard of you, and there aren't many monasteries in the region... Myrmol, am I right? The monastery in Yadash, indeed. Amazing. I am surprised. Ah. I love my land a lot. It would do me well to know them well. And your stories also. You have made quite a name for yourself in the region. With your yes. heroic exploit. Well, one's gotta do what he gotta do. Saving the world is part of the journey. Ah, don't be so humble. We are <laughs> here to celebrate as much as one can. So, there is no I'm sorry, but for... humble is my middle name at this point. Hmm. Why do I doubt <clears throat> that? <laughs> <laughs> But please help yourself to food and wines. We have some juices as well, should you wish. Thank you, my lady. And she looks to a Tyrion and nods. It is good to see you too as well, madame. And likewise. I'm just glad you all made it here safely. I didn't realize you were bringing Riordan. <sighs> well, we were considering everything. Kind of takes Wilbur's hand. But we felt it best to keep him with us. You know, with the kind of looks to Wilbur. With the tension with the others. Naturally. And I haven't really had opportunity to say, but thank you once again, Itirin, for everything with him. You see a tear and look at the table. Insight checks go here, should you wish one. Again, you can you can insight check anything at any time. I'm just I'm just prompting significant moments. <laughs> insight uh, twenty one. Okay. Oh no, that's my bad. That's on me, Dime. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we role playing. That's not on you. No, no, it's no, it is me. They're they're That's Gandalf. no, they're good aristocracy. They're the good guys. Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. Yeah, you all see some slight trepidation and sorrow from Adirin. Um Where she's remained mostly composed during the events of today, clearly affected by it still, but very much composed. Something has brought itself to the top of her mind that she would rather see buried. And she kind of winces slightly as she looks down at the table before re-meeting their glance. Oh! My goodness! Uh, we have forgotten one. Apologies. Maybe we should have less of the wine. And what was your name, my friend? To Aloro. Aloro. 
Pleasure to meet you, Allura. Pleasure. And of course... Why do you seem familiar? Looking at Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm a bard. Mm. Would I know any of your songs? I should hope so. Formed in... Hannesty, maybe? No, not particularly. Oh, well, oh, if, my apologies. Um, insights. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do one of those insights you sure. always mention. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've heard about those. <laughs> not very good, 12. It's not a particularly difficult role. Um, he seems to genuinely recollect something about her, but Hannah's dear isn't it at all. Um, but it's it's not unlikely he's seen her perform before somewhere. Okay. Just a little tightening of the arm around oh. her side a little bit, that's all. Widening of the smile. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I am Umberlai, uh, I am Ludo's plus one, and very excited to be in a palace, actually. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming, I feel, and there's polite laughter from, oh, from everyone, <laughs> except <laughs> <to> Tyrion. Um, <laughs> well, again, it is incredibly good to see <clears> you. <throat> Safe and... Ludo will clear his throat and look to the prince. Uh, do you just... Umberlai kind of pulls back the chair that's next to you, um, where friends barely fits, like his head barely <laughs> rests on top of the table. <laughs> oh. Interesting company you keep. And what is uh, their name? Royal family, I would like to introduce my son and most darling companion. <laughs> my sterling little boy, friends. He is a citizen uh, of your kingdom. <laughs> he bows and bangs his head on the table. <laughs> <laughs> It is a pleasure to meet you, friends. You know where I am from in the Corsicals? We do have many a meal with the seagulls and the birds. Mostly because, you know, ceilings are less preferred there, but... I appreciate that call back to home. Ah, yes. I also wanted to eat him, but my friend made him a hat, so... Oh, I would not eat him. Him? Oh, <laughs> I, I cannot. Shall yeah. we eat? Let, <laughs> let us. Let us eat. <laughs> and you all tuck into various foods. It is it is nicely done. It is slightly cold. Um, and uh, as you're just feasting away, mm, we shall eat first before we deal with the slightly more tentative subjects for now. Um, DM, how does their food hold up? Yeah, it's it's good. It's just a bit cold. Um, presumably because of the delay in accusatory demon prince uh, interrogation moment. <laughs> 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 but otherwise, yeah, it's really good. Um, some spices you've not tasted in kind of a good while, but it's very well spiced. It's one of the more well spiced things you've eaten here that you have made yourself. Okay. Ludo will uh, make sure that his uh, great pleasure at the fine food is known by eating loudly and messily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're glad you like. Seems unfazed. Seem totally unfazed. Very good. So, did you all know each other before the festival began? Or... 
No. <laughs> I see. Complete strangers, actually. Wow. Well, fortune has been in your favor indeed, it would seem. I uh, met these ones, I caught this one, and I won this one. Um, we were on one of uh, Miss Finney's entertainment evenings, and we were paired together, and... Ah, right, yes, yes. Yes, and... She's, she's uh, not mine to own. Successfully. No, but he is mine to own. Yes. But he's okay with that. Are you okay with that, darling? I should have mm, checked that. Yes, yes. Me? Entirely, yes, of okay. course. Always yes. say that. Never stop saying that. Okay. She kind of she kind of nods and then just furrows her eyebrows and looks back at you slightly confused. Just, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Quite the passionate, fiery relationship then. Yes. It's very nice. Very, very good. Very nice. Well, um, what, if I may ask, mm. it sounded like you were speaking to, um, uh, to, to our friend back in the lobby. Is ever, was everything okay? Is there anything we need to address at all, or...? I thought he might have been able to help one of our friends. But oh. I think I was wrong. I'm sorry to hear. Um, he should be available for the rest of the evening if you want to speak with him again. And if there's any way we can help, just let us know. Well, actually, now that it's been brought up, um, we are trying to revive one of our friends, Luca, and, well, there are these demonic, I don't know, sigils, or, it it's clear to us that a, Luca was somehow tied up with some sort of demon the demon dm uh, help me please what is the demon's name roll a history check. <laughs> i will roll a history <laughs> <laughs> the rule the rule is if you remember fuck yeah if you don't roll a history check see how you do okay all right that's fair <laughs> I, th I, think I need to, a, like, I need to make my own little book filled with all of notes, your stuff. Notes are good. Because I, I have always had, I always <laughs> have the, the, the character discussion stuff all the way up, and I'm always scrolling around, <laughs> just being like, oh, yes, that's this character and this character, but, oh, man, my memory. Okay, I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Began with an A. <laughs> oh, and, and rhymed with <laughs> and rhymed with Beth. <laughs> it rhymes with Beth. Uh, funnily enough, my uh, friend in the hallway might actually be able to help with that more so than us, I believe. Aha! Sorry. Uh, Are you that. okay? Did you just realize something? Hmm? No, no, please no. continue. Oh, that, that was mostly it. Um, we do have a vast library as well, should you need. The halls are open to you as you see fit. Without, you know, don't do crimes and stuff. But yes. I might just do that. Thank you very much. Of course. And we have a room prepared for you upstairs. Um, I will say it is a spare room. Uh, one we all used to stay in as children, so you can all uh, stay relatively close. But it will hopefully provide you good rest and good comfort after today. Mm. Food, food eating continues a bit. 
Mm. So, um, where are you all from? With the exception of Tarquin, of course. Unless, where did you come from before Myrmol? Oh, I don't have a record. I don't really recall because I was just a baby. But after Myrmol, I've been all over the place. Hmm. So I have heard. But the lots that seek refuge at the Myrmol do not particularly recollect anything from before, so... There is no shame in that. Myrmol have incredibly good people there. They seem to have yes. raised a good one. Yes, yes, it's wonderful people there. I really wish to go back sometime. I'm sure that will happen. And what of the rest of you? Same. I get around, but, um, spend most of my time in Torn. Hmm. I hear the forests there are unmatched. Indeed. Beautiful. They almost sing to you. Rocks mm. too. Oh, I hadn't heard anything about the rocks in Toldrin, but that is quite exciting. I will have to visit someday. Please do. It's great. She, you, get yourself a spot by the gulf. It's beautiful. Mm. Noted. I shall do. I have been traveling around looking for places to work. I previously was an apprentice for a leather worker, but uh, this opportunity came up and I got completely swept away and now I feel like my life's changed entirely. Amazing. Well... We always love a good leather worker in the Corsicals, if you need a, I guess, self-funded vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we would be happy to host you and see some of your beautiful leather works. That would be lovely. And yourselves, Luto, Umberlai, and uh, friends? <laughs> um, I don't... I don't actually know, DM. Far to the. Yes, you do. Um... I, I probably should. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that I should. <laughs> but it's like far you to the west come... or something, right? You. No. You come from. <laughs> Dang. You come from uh, the uh, continent of the Skies, um, which is kind of central. And there's like the mainland, which is just south of the landmass of Yadash, which is kind of south of where you are. But if you keep going south, uh, you get to this um, very kind of tropic, more like almost Vietnam style tropical um, island. And then uh, in the middle of the ocean, right in the middle of the map, um, it also owns a group of small islands. Um, loads of tiny little islands, and that's where uh, Luto is from. Neat. And they do have a name, but I have forgotten it. <laughs> uh, let me check. I put it in the in my shit map update the <laughs> other day. To check out our shit map update, you can also check it out via the coffee if you are a supporter. Um, everyone else will see it when it's done. <laughs> Uh, the Chenny Isles. You are from the Chenny Isles. Oh, I love that. That's adorable. I'm going to make a note of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm originally from the Chenny Isles. That's where my family is. But I left pretty early to travel around with uh, the party of Chef Marvillus. Uh, he taught me everything I know. I see. But the name rings a bell also. He was the incredible chef. Amazing. Unrivaled, yes. Made the finest food I've ever had. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. Hmm. He was a good teacher. Were you there? Sorry, that is prying far too far. 
It is, he says with a smile. Oh, my apologies. It's okay. Uh, I'm a great fan of his work. Well, if we have time, maybe I can share some of it with you. Uh, next meal, perhaps. Mm. I will never say no to a, a great feast. I one of Chef Marvelous's wonderful, wonderful students, I suppose. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I believe it is uh, time for business now. Um, while I am aware, I generally do not attend these meetings. So I shall take my leave. Um, are you happy for uh, your plus ones to stay? Asking Luto and Etirin also respectively. <laughs> Do you want to stay? I'll say to Umberlai. Well, darling, to be fair, I've been in the room a few times while you've been discussing the uh, whole business thing, so I'm pretty much already in the know. And he'll like uh, he'll look to his party mates and say, "I think it will be good to have uh, everybody's insight." I think uh, Umberlai should stay. And uh, friends, do you want to stay? And he, he hops off the chair <laughs> and waddles back through. <laughs> <laughs> and hops up the stairs. You, you hear it just echoing through the empty hall <laughs> as he hops up the stairs. Um, to go off exploring. He can fly, he's, he just wants to hop. He's growing so fast. <laughs> he's walking now. Uh, <laughs> guys, what's the lifespan of a seagull? Forever. Nobody never, Google never, it. La, 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 la. Nobody Google it. <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you will be banned if you Google it. <laughs> seagull lifespan. <laughs> Forever and ever. Oh, 20 years, you have time. Okay, oh, good. Whew. A thousand and million wow. and one years to the power of your nan. And this is just, yeah, forever. So, friends <laughs> takes his little pitter patter leave. Right. Well, I. <laughs> Thank you, Scorpio. <laughs> I I know this is not the ideal time for such severe discussions after such a difficult day, evening. But I do believe it is of the utmost importance to have. Master Tyrion nods. Yes, so... I've already briefed you all, but I will go over things once again, just to be crystal clear. A tear in the void. The void? <laughs> I wish that was a really easy way to remember what the tear was, was in. Um, ah! <laughs> There is a tail in a te a te um, got it. takes a glass of wine. Skiba de bab do As you know, another tear in the veil was discovered on Ash Sky, but only a couple of days ago. This is only more confirmation to our theories that the new era has begun. But with more imports than that, there the veil is at risk. 
has been at risk. It's potentially more broken than it has been in a while. Ever. I need more wine. <clears throat> As for what that means, it means that many deities, spirits, demons, and other ethereal forms can forge their own paths into our realm. And dear Yor has seen the messages from above, from the older gods, and have given her a message, and that message is to make sure that these, that any false gods are not in power for too long. For where there are spirits and deities and demons from other realms, there are also those who are abusing the tears in the veil for their own powers. Choosing and manipulating both the magic of the world and the veil and people to they themselves ascend. And before overlong we will find out what their intentions with that power is. And it will not be good, likely. We have an organization that we are slowly building. The Espers. Our goal is to track down these false deities, otherwise known as altars, and destroy them to prevent any potential harm that they can do. And for all sakes of clarity, this mission has been sent to us by the ancient gods. You all know that the ancient gods are so ancient, um, they are all but unreachable. Like, they've not particularly made contact with the world in hundreds, if not thousands, of years. So for them to be sending a message and be like, Yeah, BT Dubs, can you, like, go kill all these fake gods, please? Thanks. Is kind of a huge deal. We have a couple of others in our group who are currently scouting for potential missions in the future. But should you allow, and should you be willing, we would have you join our alliance. Become Espers. With our guidance, our resources, and by pairing with forces such as the royalty here and in the Corsicals, we would seek to take down these altars and assist you in doing so. It's been a long day, so I hope that explanation was somewhat clear. Ludo raises a hand. Uh, yes, Ludo. So we become experts, and then the and then and then what? We have to you send us to places. We go do stuff. Exactly that, although slightly more complex. Okay. And you said the old gods, ancient gods, tell you to do this. Who, who is talking to the ancient gods? Can we talk to the ancient gods? Well, you're our good friend with the worm. They have been the ones 
want to commune with the gods themselves, though we believe it's possible there may be others that we are also searching for. Hmm. We understand it's a lot to take him. The point yeah, of the... Yeah, you want us to be assassins. Not so much assassins. The... You want us to go around killing people that are supposedly false gods. Come on, you got all those fancy magical powers and stuff like that. Can't you just go over there and smite them? I need Please. a couple of rinky-dink adventurers to go over there and take care of your business for you. Those are valid concerns. Trust me, I understand the level we are asking here. We believe your group has the competency and the power and the compassion to take on such a task. There's no compassion involved. We're assassinating people. That's what you want us to do. I'm not one to take a job from somebody who wants me to go around killing people. If this really is the big deal that you say that it is, you do it. We are. We saw what you're capable we have of. Been. We're trying. The Master of Tyran has been preoccupied with some personal matters the last couple of months, meaning that Master Ikta has been taking on the main recruitment and scouting responsibilities. Oh, I'm so sorry that your personal matters are staying are getting in the way of tears in the fabric of reality. You should probably check what your priorities are. What do you want with us? Why us? The gods yeah. described the events that we would see apart from Kimmick's attack. Other than to hold a ceremony to bid the wedding good graces, this festival was to help find you all. We had heard descriptions vague of the abilities that we would need to utilize. You sure you just weren't picking up the vibes the from Tarquin? <laughs> That's more his thing. I could teach well, you, but it's not gonna be cheap. <laughs> uh, Tarquin brings up a good point. Uh, I don't really know anything about gods, or this god, that god, or a bail, or anything like that, but uh, maybe there's something in it for us. We help you, would... and then you do your thing, and then what do we get? There would absolutely be something in it for you. You would get some of the best training across the world from different professionals and masters of their industries. Everything would be pretty much paid for in terms of travel and necessary equipment. You would have a group looking out for you at all times, watching your back. Have you not wondered why you haven't seen Yenka since you got back? Oh, a little bit. Ikta hired her mm -hmm. to make sure you all got around safely. Oh, yes, very safely while getting shot. She was harsh in the competitions. That is a fair observation. But she's not shot you since. And if she did, 
you would be the first to see her blood rain from her hiding place. Okay. I demand an apology. <laughs> that can be arranged. And a dance. <laughs> and that you will have to ask her yourself. I demand it. <laughs> you will have to demand it yourself. Well, all right. I, I have a couple of demands. Are we doing demands? Ideally, just conversation. But if you have requirements you would like to be considered, we can certainly do so. Uh, I have three requests. Okay. One... Adamantine cooking utensils. Adamantine cooking utensils. Yes. This dents too easily and he knocks on his shield. Do you know the third branch of the Ninute Guild Halls, Ludo? No, what's that? There's Icta, the master of the hunt. Myself, the master of the arcane. We have a master smither. He can do you better than adamantine. Oh. I didn't know there was anything better than that. Okay. Uh, well, then good. First one, good. Uh, second, demand, a uh, request. Uh, I get to eat anything that I kill that does not wear clothes. I feel like this one's going to come back and bite me, but I have no immediate issue with that. Very good. And uh, the last one. And you see he starts getting apprehensive, starts fidgeting a little, and he has to like, puff up his chest to kind of give himself the confidence. I want to eat a dragon. You see, you see Wilbur and Eterin just deflate slightly. Um, Umberlight also, you feel Umberlight deflate. <laughs> Darling, those aren't real. Um, dragons are not real. If there's one somewhere, I want to eat it. That's what this all has been for. Ludo. Should you find a hostile dragon and are able to kill it, you may eat part of it. We will need some for research, because that would be intense news, to say the very least. But we would not disallow you to eat a portion of it. You heard it, okay? Everybody here, you heard it. <laughs> Alan clear, they get the bones, we get the flesh. I'll write up the contract once we're done. I need some bones for the stew, but yeah, okay. Of course. Burrow, what do you think of all this? I'm ready to eat a dragon. <laughs> Up a <and> dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that you will for sure run into a dragon, but if somehow there were to be a world where dragons exist, the mission you would be to go on would likely be your best hopes of finding one. But that is not a promise. I cannot promise that. I do not deal in empty promises. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. I kind of want to eat a dragon too. Why don't you start, Wilbur? <laughs> Sorry. Great, thanks, Ludo. You set our missions up to be hard mode. <laughs> we all if need to have goals. Yes, be fun. It's up to them. I've already said my piece. Don't got nothing better to do. If there's anything we can do to reassure you, be fun. Any information we have would be information that you would have. 
There are no closed doors, no secret meetings. That goes both ways, but we understand trust is earned. You have earned our trust, but I understand that we are yet to earn yours. Look, I'll go wherever they go, but there is one thing you could do. Of course. Got a dead gal. He's resurrecting. You do that, and I'm definitely in. I will speak to Riordan for you. And I will collect you. Block's ticking. Riordan would be your best bet. Ordinarily, I would not allow such summonings on such a sacred isle. Wilbur? I think that seems pretty reasonable to me. You have my permission. And you have mine also. And should anyone ask what it is you've done, why it is you've done it, I will make sure they ask no further questions of it. She's not going to kill them. It just sometimes it sounds like she's going to kill everyone. Um, that's that's just an, an Aetherian thing. Don't worry about it. Yes, I will hush any arguing so that they never speak on it and do not believe that a, re a revival has happened. It will be like they never knew. She won't kill them. It, I know it. I know it sounds like it, but she she won't she won't kill anyone. Glad Either way, hmm? kill them, don't kill them, whatever you want. You're the murderers. I just need this done quickly. We would ideally find a way to apprehend them without the need to kill. However, you can understand that should one abuse a power that even a deity may not be able to wield, extreme force is needed. But if we find a way, we would do so peacefully. I assure you. Well, chop chop. I don't fully understand what you're chop chopping me for now. Look, I, you guys can argue about all this stuff all you want. I asked for one request. I expect to see it done. Again, that will be something Riordan can handle for you. My powers are extinct for the day. However, should Riordan struggle, I will be there to help tomorrow. And that I assure you. You have my word. Yeah, tomorrow will be too late. So you're going to talk to him now? Later? When? I will go and talk to him now. Thank you. Unless there is any other business or questions. I'm not asking your immediate yes or no. But... We would ideally need an answer by tomorrow, as we'll be setting off. Can I come? <laughs> I'm really just <laughs> <laughs> blurts out. <laughs> I shan't stop you. Hmm. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So oh yeah, hi. I, I never, I never asked you guys. Uh, Ludo will say, turning to his party members, "Uh, you still okay, if Umber like comes?" It's too late now. I'm coming. Well, that's true, but if they don't Run want you there, heal. it's going to be problem. Uh, will it? Well, of course. If they don't want you, then it's going to be difficult, at least. 
But it's not like she's just gonna hang out. She got a bunch of powers and skills, right? Yeah. Obviously. The more the merrier, of course. Wonderful. As long as she can heal. Good bards, darling. I don't know what you say. I'll swap my spells out when I next get chance, okay? Gosh. No fun. Also, I thought Luto was on support. Yeah, I'm here. The more the merrier when it comes to healing. Okay, well. <laughs> you see that Itirin has uh, left. And it's just you, your group, and, um, and Wilbur. Right, shall I, um, I'll show you two rooms. For rest, should you wish. At a library around here? I shall point to that on the way. Oh, okay. Not right, let us, let us go. And... Out you go, all going up the spiral, everyone's just going up the spiral staircase. <laughs> um, and you head along a couple of corridors that kind of again overlook into this massive, beautiful garden um, in the centre, kind of interior of the building. Uh, as you approach the east wing, <laughs> um, you see uh, two large... Uh, double doors with golden door handles and he cracks one of them open slightly the library with the with the crack that he opened you see tons of books as is uh, want to happen in a place of this size and uh, a little further down the corridor um, he leads you into a room that knocks to check no one's in there, opens it up, and you do see what looks like a very lavish, kind of almost child's room. Um, quite light pink. It's very, it's like a very muted kids' room though, like a very fancy, <laughs> fancy mummy kids' room. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, very very muted pinks. Um, beautiful colour. There's enough whimsy for it to be a kids' room, but it, it still looks quite boring for a kids' room. Um, and there's, like, nice little dolls' houses and a fireplace with a chair in front of it for telling stories. Um, and there Is there are... anything large enough in here for either myself or Ludo to even sleep on? They are <laughs> all king-size beds. Okay. <laughs> they are all more than big enough. Um, life, life of luxury. Um, and this is where you'll be sleeping, if that's all right. Okay. Ifa looks over to Ludo. Sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. Okay. Mostly just sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> If there's anything else you need to do, use the restroom, whatever, leave the room. It's a big place. I'm sure we'll find something. Mm, I hope you do. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Thank you, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, everybody. I think we should sleep on it. See what our dreams have to say. And then uh, in the morning, have a little breakfast. Talk about what we're going to do. Um, I believe uh, my brother is in uh, the study, which is just next to the library, should you want to speak with him this evening. It seemed like something of uh, urgency, if your friend is currently... Uh, my apologies. He should brother? be able to help. Ah, uh, Yes. No, who's your brother? Riordan. Oh, Riordan's your brother. Cool. All right. It, there's a. It's complicated, but 
Ah, oh, it's your brother. It's fine. Oh. I, it's, it, it's complicated, and we were not sure what to call it. But no, he is, he is my brother. We are biologically brothers. Oh, oh um, it was like an inbreeding thing. <laughs> oh, gods, no. I don't know gods, how you no. royalty. Oh, no, okay. No, 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 no. He, he was... He, he, uh, what? The royalty? Was not, he was not <laughs> part of the family for a while. Oh. And myself inviting him to the wedding was a slight surprise to some members of the household. So he is, gotcha. um, a Genasi, right? And Riordan is also a Genasi? Tiefling. Tiefling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. I wish right. you could see my face right now. Ask you, him for you don't know what it's pulling, but it is there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused, especially when you specified biological, but you know, whatever. We have complicated families, mm -hmm. and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would like to roll a DNA check, please. <laughs> <laughs> he is 100% that bitch. Um, well, I will leave you to it for the evening. Um, and see you in the morning for breakfast. If there's anything, um, we are just around the corner um, towards the center. Hear that, guys? Our hosts are just around the corner, towards the center. Looking over at uh, Ludo and Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start scouting out places towards the fringes. <laughs> oh my god. Good night, friends. Good night. No, friends is in a different room right now. <laughs> so. Would you like to go and speak to Riordan? Indeed. Is it time to see if we can talk to a demon deity? Do you guys want to talk to a demon deity? Let's talk to a demon deity. Ooh. That's crazy. I don't want to talk to a demon deity. I want to talk to a demon daddy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to talk to the demon daddy, you've got to talk to the guy who runs a company establishment in Austria. Uh -huh. You gotta roll yeah. a dirty 20. <laughs> Potentially dirty, but also genuinely just a nice place for a company if that floats your boat, but also sexy things if you wish. Um, <laughs> 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 it respects any and all kinds of people wanting any and all sorts of company. Yes. Like, yeah, can you, can you role play? Can you, can you role play like a sexy doctor, but also just hug me? It's like, <laughs> we've got a person for that. <laughs> it's just like, weirdly a really wholesome place, uh, but also very sexy, <laughs> but also wholesome. <laughs> and and uh, like where, it. where is this yeah. again? Where can I find this? Ospra, in the city of Ospra, <laughs> okay. in the region of Ospra, in the continent of Yadash, which you are currently in. So. I see. So this is not in California, just checking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a particularly different climate in Osprey. No okay. in California. Um, right. So with that, you all head to the study and the doors are closed. Um, and then they open as uh, Mistress Atirin comes out, sees you all, kind of looks specifically to be fun. He's ready to talk. I just nod. Have a good evening, friends. <laughs> Sorry, no, he's not here either. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought you weren't a demon. Are you just going insane, Hunter Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm. Not a demon. So what can you do to help us with them? 
Yes, right. That came up pretty much immediately. There's no, you know. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, sorry for insinuating you were a demon prince of the we underworld. We met by outside. There. Look, time is of it's the fine. essence. I don't mean to be like this, but it's... I've had something dropped on me that I was not expecting, and I'm asking for one thing. I have no idea how much time I have left. Maybe 12 hours or so. And I assure you, friend, I can help. Uh, you do see friends on the couch next to him. <laughs> so. Um, and Marina has left, so we should be good to speak privately if that is something you wish. Though, I don't believe she would see any issue. Um, so you wish to speak to a demon deity? Yes. Actilineth, I believe. Indeed. That is doable. Um, I shall make the necessary preparations in here. I believe it should be enough room. In the meantime, Anything I... I should know about Actil enough? Uh, I d I'm afraid I don't know them particularly well. I more so am familiar with... This is not going to help with the theories, but I do know something about summoning demons. Are we in any danger? I shouldn't think so. I've, I've not heard of... Actilineth doesn't seem to be the smiting kind. You seem pretty confident. Lead on. Right. Uh, there's just one thing I would need of you. Um, for the ceremony to take place, we need... a poison. Ideally, a respiratory poison. Um, I believe there are some flowers in the greenhouse that could suit. Um, and if you could go and get some for me there, that would be great help while I set up here. Oh, oh wait, hold on. And he's crunching something. <laughs> he'll reach into his... Uh, he'll open up his refrigerator and some ocean water will splash out. Oh. And he'll reach in and pull out a pink poison flower. <laughs> you have one? Yeah, we, we, I think it was like the first hunt or something. You gave me, like I was like doing a search for things that were edible and you said I found a pink poison flower. Roll a medicine check. Okay. You sneaky fuck. <laughs> I, I remember notes. this. Yeah, no, no, it's, no, yeah, it's I, I, I do remember this. If it's, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's above a 14. A 20. I will. <laughs> I said dirty 20. You motherfucker. <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> Skip that entire fucking sequence then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to go down and make some fun poisons another time, you can! <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck you! Which is the pink one? Uh, I did a speech check on you, just skip the whole ass quest. <laughs> it would have been so fun as well! Oh. I want to solve a puzzle. <laughs> I don't mind extra poison, okay? I, I don't do it. No, it's my it's, point it's, for no that, was too, that was too no, smooth. It's funny. Yeah, that was good. It's I'm funny. glad you had that. That was, okay. that was awesome. That um, works. Everyone roll a nature check, because I don't believe it had a name. Other than, like, you know it to be poison, because it's got, like... Yeah, it was called Pink Poison Flower, that's what I called it. Yeah. Okay. Everyone roll a nature check for me. 13. Nine. Okay. I'm looking Fif for 14 or higher. 15. Oh, thank God. I was secretly hoping you'd fail this, because it would have been funny, but also this one isn't funny. Um, <laughs> right. You know... Let me have a look. I did so much fucking research for this. And you know, fucking oh, no. We'll save it for next time. We'll, we'll make lots of poison. Um, where is it? Yes. Uh, I'm having to scroll through a lot of flowers. Okay. Man, you even got this fucking one. You know We're gonna this. Need it anyway, we got a bunch of sneaky boys on the team. This yeah. is true. You know this to be the brain, the brainweed flower. 
Oh. Um, and as you pull it out, Riordan kind of puts his hands to his sides, just like, Kef, be careful, be careful. <laughs> oh my god, be careful. God, be careful. Be careful. Hmm. It's kind do you of know weird. what you're... Do you, do you know... That might help, actually. But do you, do you know what we're doing with that? Do you know what you're doing with that? Please tell me, you know, like, are you a herbologist or any of you herbologists? Uh, I know you're not supposed to eat it. Don't even smell it. Do not smell it. Don't. I know the urge to smell it has now increased by <laughs> at least threefold. <laughs> I assure you, do not smell it. I have a question. Is anyone smelling it? Uh, let me roll a wisdom save. Hold on. I thought about it. Um, <laughs> are you throw throwing a wisdom save to see if you'll smell it or not? Yeah. Okay. That's a decent. I rolled a ten. I think it's good enough to know to not smell the flower. He already know to not be yeah, edible. Yeah. You you know you know the flower. So yeah, you wouldn't. You're you're safe. Um, you know this to be the brainweed flower. Um. And this is an actual D&D &D thing. It saved me a little bit of work, somehow. Flower pollen of the subterranean brainweed plant. Exposed creatures must, must succeed on a charisma save or suffer extreme hallucinations, feeling as if their blood is boiling. Creatures hallucinating this way, they prone on the ground and cut themselves open to let out their boiling blood, taking slashing damage Jesus. at the start of each turn and accumulative necrotic damage for each turn they spend hallucinating due to loss of blood. While well, hallucinating! I should have done this in my fucking uh, ad read voice. While well, hallucinating, a creature cannot move and will only use its actions to cut itself. The hallucination lasts for 2d4 rounds, at which point the creature will no longer inflict harm upon itself. Though it will still lose blood unless they are magically healed or are, or a successful medicine check with a DC equal to 8 plus twice the number of turns spent hallucinating is performed on them. Jeez. They contain nuts. Yeah, uh, you picked the real fucking, funny enough, the nastiest one. Uh, in, my, in my idea. Um, so you but know that's what the pollen can it? do. Depends how much health you have and how much you want to start cutting your belly open and disemboweling yourself. <laughs> hallucinogens or hallucinogens? Should have put this flower in saw. <laughs> <laughs> do, right? Um, so you know it to be the brainweed plant and that you need the pollen of it. Um, if mishandled, any inhalation, uh, the inhalation cloud will be a five by five foot square footage and um, do all of the above. So, no pressure. Um, but you know you have to extract the pollen for the poison. The room you were in is currently filling up with smoke. <laughs> 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 you have exactly two minutes before you start ripping open your stomach. It's... But in that stomach is a key. A key that you will need so you will need to take in some of the planet. But not all of it. And the effects will be irreversible. <laughs> take a That's fucking really decent Perfect. inspiration for that, b <laughs> Take a fucking inspiration point. That, that it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's beautiful how it's a mix of sort, but also specifically the honeycomb game from Squid Game, because you have to be, like, so precise not <laughs> to friggin' trigger it. So, um, who would like to do the sleight of hand check? Or the, or the oh. nature oh. check? My sleight of hand or nature, I will allow. Both, both me and Tarquin probably have pretty good sleight of hand. I have so plus five. Of... Okay. So it's a Ooh. kind of decent. You're better than me. I have plus four. Well, yeah, we'll tell four. whoever extracts the pollen, maybe don't do it in here, because if we all face its effects, it's going to be incredibly bad. Good point. I'm willing to do it, but Tarquin, if you want to press your luck. Perhaps we should I do mean... this outside. Do we still have a potion? If you didn't drink him last week. I don't think we did. I think there's an extra potion that uh, 
Tarquin and I have been carrying around. I think I I'm still have one. Yeah. Oh. Gonna need more than a fucking potion to survive that shit. <laughs> I also still have my my rest pill. At least he'll be asleep and he won't have to be in too much pain. At least for twelve seconds. You should be all right if you do it in the corridor. There's enough enough room for it to dissipate and be non toxic. You don't think we should go maybe... outside? I, d I don't think it will make much difference doing it outside versus doing it in here, in here, but in the corridor. Okay. Whatever, whatever you fancy. It's up to you. <laughs> My God, JC, no, do not. <laughs> <laughs> I will get well, it's you to you or roll. me, Tarquin. <laughs> if that is canon. You don't have to do this. I'll do it, don't worry. But first, Luto, can you do that blessing thing you did when we were fighting? That was really helpful. Oh, yeah. I hear. Uh, it's only going to last a minute, but... Wow. <laughs> so now you've got to run out of this upstairs room, down the spiral stairs, and out of the door without disturbing this plant too much in the matter of a minute. Yes, I'm gonna go, holy man coming, and I'm running roll an, over there like... Roll, roll an athletics or acrobatics check for me, please. Acrobatics, I If have it is a natural one, you know exactly yeah. what's happening. You oh, know exactly shit. what's happening you if you get say a like that. one. Let's go. It's a... Uh, <laughs> 15 plus 2, 17. Nice. You do not eat shit or fall on the way down. In fact, you make it well within the minute with time to spare so that you can do the sleight of hand with the blessing added. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Just the imagery of just tripping on that first fucking step. Oh, and just like comedy, just like <laughs> oh. all the way down the spiral stairs and the pollen just going everywhere. And That's then you get that... to the bottom and start disemboweling yourself. Sorry. That was really... <laughs> That's a grand total of 10. <laughs> I didn't get too many good oh. dice. 10. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can I pass him my inspiration? <laughs> nope. Oh. Do you have um... any other character ideas in mind? Or... <laughs> <laughs> what are you using to try and get the pollen out? Uh, I never did that before, Island. <laughs> Shit Creek uh, comes to mind. No. no. <laughs> I'm you can just use, gonna like, try. The edge of a knife or something if you have like a boot knife or a butt knife. Oh yes, I have some tools. <laughs> boot butt knife. Um, I have uh, wood carver's tools and carpenter's tools, so there's yeah, got to be well, something there. Definitely allow it. Um, you kind of your hand goes <laughs> to begin and uh, extract. I feel like we need a tensor music for this um, <laughs> <laughs> um dun, dun, to begin dun, dun, to go dun, and extract dun. the <laughs> essence um you see that your hand is uncharacteristically shaky though i will give you this opportunity to back out or you can go in and roll another straight sleight of hand check i'm yeah, going just back in. out and let luca die is that what you want oh, shit. no no i'm going full Nice. Light of hand. If I die, I die. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, she dies. Let me, is it deadly? Stop doing it for my me. mother it's didn't raise a coward. Oh my god. <laughs> Mama Let's didn't go. raid no bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the ancient oh, no, gods looking down at us are like, these are our chosen ones. This is the one we picked. All right. I got 16. <laughs> okay, so. 16 just passed. <laughs> nice. Oh, damn. It was all planned. Ooh, you would have <laughs> I had it on the <laughs> you, would have, you would have had You would have had the uh, charisma save as well after, but I was like, I'm, I'm feeling nice. Let's give him another chance. <laughs> you successfully gather some of the pollen on uh, one of your carving tools that's got like a sh slight well to it. Um, and you head back upstairs, d delicately, um, no rush this time, and, uh, you head back in with the pollen successfully extracted. 
Okay, here it is, but be careful, this is very strong stuff. Tarquin is a teeny bit sweaty for the first time ever. <laughs> <Just laughs> diffusing this bomb. <laughs> um, DM! Yes! Like to do an inside check? What, what, who, on what for? To see if Tarquin has shit himself. <laughs> that would be more of a perception check, but I will I will allow either. You would sure. be smelling roses. So no. <laughs> <laughs> Got a 19. Tarquin. Has Tarquin shit or pissed himself? <laughs> that has, has, has he indeed? Um, let's see what kind of role can... No, I don't want to be shitting myself, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think there is a... For any person, there is a limit where you would piss or shit yourself. Um, I think, I think Tarquin's got a way to go, but definitely... I'm sure he's fine. Sure. Slightly closer than we've, than we've been fine. before. <laughs> um, you do notice this really cool armband he has, though, with a little kind of black, greenish stone gem in it. Um... Roll oh, an he saw it. Please. He did. He rolled a what nineteen for, for perception. He's he's trying to tell tell if you. Do shit. I roll for initiative? Oh, oh no! Ah, roll the four. Woo! Um, so now it's a nice it's a nice arm it's cuff. It's pretty. It's pretty. It is really pretty. I need to find the picture back of it. Um, cool. Okay. Are nice all... armband, dude. <laughs> Thanks. It's looking really pretty. <laughs> As uh, Tarquin was going out and uh, diffusing that bomb, um, all of you were helping um, helping Riordan put the candles out in the same formation as the symbol that represents Actilaneth. Um, and uh, found a feather, he found a feather from a quill and placed it in the center of the diamond shape within the sigil. And now you have re all returned alive and intact and non-self-disemboweled. Hey. Dip the feather, um, kind of gently rubbing the edges with this bright pink powder. Riordan has gloves on, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> forgot to mention, he does have gloves on, because it's sexy. Um, I mean, be uh, because... <coughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerer! Sorcery gloves! Gloves for sorcery! Sexy. They're really sexy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and he gently... Oh my god, he would kind of be doing a motion. He would be <laughs> He would be rubbing the pollen on the, on the feather. And he'll place it in the center. And then light the feather of flame with some magic from his thumb. Just as the little... <laughs> And it pitters and thithers away into nothing and ash. And you see all of the candles in the room just to one direction slightly. And all kind of beginning to step back from the center of the room. You see... This kind of... I know, I know scientifically darkness is the lack of light, um, but you do see this less so a darkness, but more so an uh, emptiness of light. Just a void of in the centre of the room. Like, it's almost like a smoke bomb, but empty. And from it, you see a hand curl around this kind of invisible edge of this seeming cloud or void of black and slightly mustardy warm yellow and purple energy and the other hand reaches through delicately with large large hands Kind of easily the size of your torsos. Very spindly fingers. And this large silhouette sits in the darkness. 
like a hooded figure. You have summoned me. This voice booms, just this very low, bassy tone to it. It still feels very crisp and in, just direct in front of you. And though it is but a semblance of an avatar of a deity, you do feel this heat and this almost slightly sulfuric smell to the energy that pulses in the center of the room. Translucent. Ethereal. Powerful. Who has summoned me? Are you a Kilinev? Okay, you got it. <laughs> you are all familiar. You see it kind of tilt its head to the side. Why have you summoned me? You know of a follower of yours named Luca. I. I do. One of the hands lifts kind of to the center of the void. And you see a tiny bright spark of gold appear hovering. She is a good child. Closes her hand up gently. Would you see what her is... back? Yeah. <laughs> I would also. A life is priceless. Unfortunately, such great magics are costly. But I believe it can be done. Yeah, um... What do I do? Do you have the gold? Yes. Twenty thousand pieces. And I will bring her back to life. What? Does a demon need money? It is less about the need for money, but the show of understanding the weight of what you ask of me. There is very little time. You see the form shift slightly, kind of straighten up. You are not wrong. It would behoove all of us to have her back before over long. In that case, I would ask a favor. I shall revive her. Bring her back to life as it once was. Not undead, not conditional, 
No trickeries. She will be back. You will take her with you. And as soon as possible, you will find yourselves a city in Lorraine, in the mountains, called Xinhua. The Xinhua Viaduct, specifically. Take her there. She will know what to do. At that point, the debt is paid. Now I've asked you a lot. May I ask you one more thing? Speak, child. What is Luca's association with you? While you don't see a smile from the entity before you, you feel a warmth radiate, like a heartbeat, like your pupils growing slightly in fondness. She is a follower. She believes in me and takes my power with her. Will be done. Do I need to do anything further or I'm just gonna raise her? She reaches a hand out and you see the little glowing light float up and into the sky. And the figure kind of looks at their hand places it back into the void. When you return to her, speak these words to her. Alkana the Danan Sue Umdil Mograbas Any of you may speak it to her. And I will say it once more. I know the mortal mind is oft tired. Alkana Fe Danan Sue Undil Mogra Bath. Those words carry weight. Do not speak them before or after the rite is done. Go to her at your nearest convenience. Her soul is returned. Thank you. Thank you for seeing her back to us. I appreciate your help. And with Ooh. that, you see the arms return back into the void. And like someone falling back into a bath or a bed, the figure falls back. <sighs> and the candles all <sighs> go out. And that's where we're gonna leave it tonight. Oh my God. Ooh! <laughs> Ryan! Ooh! 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 So they're, I take it. Kind of cool. <laughs> I take it Actilaneth is not among the ancient deities that. No. Okay. He's no. more of a newer god. 
They, yeah, they're, they're, um, it, it's, it's a difficult distinction because there's like really, really ancient ones, which like are just so distant. It, it's, it, it's not dissimilar to the concept of God here. It's like they're, this is not to piss off any Christians. This is the way I see it. So apologies. It's D &D. This is personal belief. They've already pissed off the Christians. Um, fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the way we see God, you know, so there's a lot of belief in them, um, people have the churches for them, people very much, um, abide by the laws or adapt the laws, um, but there's no, like, presence other, other than that. Again, personal opinion, personal experience, nothing against you if you do experience that shit, good for you. Hell yeah, not for me. Um, and then kind of beyond that, you have um, kind of the slightly older gods. So we're getting younger as we go along. You've got the kind of just gods. <laughs> so those are your typical ones that are based on like elemental stuff. Um, so, so uh, I posted it on Twitter. Did I post it on Twitter? I think I just know it pretty well. Um, with like a little sneak peek. But there's like deities, like um, the Essel, that uh, the Nightingales worship. I think I've said that much. Oops, never mind. If not, but, um, no, I have. I've described it to someone. Um, <laughs> um, but the is uh, the god of fire, but um, is also associated with other things like purification and um and considerable change and like new growth and regrowth um which some of the nightingales are like ah oh, yes fresh starts fresh starts are good let's kill monsters um or and some of them are like bah! that means kill all the monsters anything that looks like a monster i'm gonna fucking kill it and raise it to the ground with fire um that kind of thing uh <laughs> 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 there's also like fail for here's the uh god of water and sorrow um i love i love fail for uh because all the temples are just crying priests they're just they're just fucking sobbing the whole time <laughs> um <laughs> and then kind of below that you've got um kind of the newer deities or saints so um there are some that have been granted deification by the ancient ones there have been um, some, you know, kind of the more niche subjects, some of the more niche subjects. Um, and that's kind of where Actilaneth would lie. Um, and then kind of underneath that, you've got the new, newest gods that are like bleeding in from other realms. Um, there are some like Actilaneth that are bleeding through from other realms because Actilaneth themselves has bled through from another realm. Um, and, uh... Yeah, some of the newer ones that's like, the god of bread. And, you know, someone would be like, yes, I'm the god of bread. And it's like, you stole all this power to be the god of fucking bread. Um, or you, you came from the Fey realm to be the god of bread here instead. Like, okay. And then right at the bottom, you've got the altars, which are the, the fake gods, basically, who are people that accumulated enough of a cult or... Um, they're basically enough of a cult or enough <laughs> enough of a means to power enough magic to tear mm. into the veins of the veil and magic themselves plug it right up their ass and be like ah, now i have the powers of a god motherfuckers and they're the ones that are itirin was saying are kind of potentially about to wreak havoc because they're going to be like i'm a god and they kind of have godlike powers but they're just Dicks named Greg who had a really big cult and abused a lot of people or killed a lot of people to get that power. Um, and they need, you know, they need maybe checking in on because <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mud muddying the waters a little bit. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Scorpio! Um, so yeah. She, she, Actilaneth is kind of, yeah, one of the newer slash smaller gods, but definitely has a presence in realms. 
and they're super they're super chill well thank you for that and also thank you for giving me a end game goal for ludo <laughs> i told you one thing i was like this is the world oh. This is cool. All right, there are no dragons. I'm, joining your I'm like, call. wait, no dragons? <laughs> what do you mean there are no dragons? I imagine uh, something, just... something, something's betrayed by Umberlie. Something, something, something. Friends dies. Something, something, something. God of <laughs> cooking. <laughs> oh, Luna wants to. Ascend. I I thought you wanted to eat a dragon. You meant like ascend to the god of cooking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When you said somebody became the god of bread, I was like, B ding. I was like, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. The dragon's um... a red herring. This is a long con. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh shit. This is D&D. &D. There has to be dragons. Does there be? Does there? <laughs> Do there? There are dragons. They just don't exist. It's again. It's like this world. I'm sorry. We'll find a way. There's, Do some kind of time travel. Something. I don't know. <laughs> become become IRL Chronomancer, but in the game. <laughs> but yeah, interesting interesting session. I'm glad there were more things happening at the beginning because I didn't really have. A, there was a point where I ran out of plan, but I think. I think ending it on talking to a literal deity is pretty much that's, that's as good as you can get really. and then we can revive Luca we Yay. have no idea what's going to happen next because we're just making a deal with a demon god or something yeah, and following his cool. plan so they're what's cool. the worst that can happen they're super cool though <laughs> they're super chill they're like oh you don't have 20k that's fine yeah, just, just go just to the city and head. don't yeah. worry. They all die. That's not your problem. <laughs> I'm more worried about you guys. My, what are you going to do in that city? Like, what are we enabling? Exactly. <laughs> We're just taking a demon's person there and see what happens. You asked the question before about, like, discussing things with the group versus just full on role playing. Mm -hmm. I have already shown that I am chaos. I had, like, <laughs> no, I had a lady appear on your shoulder today because I needed to steal a gem. <laughs> and I got was your son involved in your confused. Dance. Just like, wait, what? <laughs> that made me laugh so much. I was like, oh no, they've taken her teleportation stone away. <laughs> and I was like, where did the teleportation Thank you for not giving it away. Friends' mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. Why would I do that? I would be a bad DM if I was like, that's her teleportation stone. Because, like, ew. But, like, if I'm like, there's a glowy, shiny stone that you see her toss in the grass before you leave, it's like... If you, I if you were a more fucked stone. up DM, you would have had her teleport inside of friends. It did cross my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I lie, had to take a second. I was just like, okay, she said, okay, good, good, good. Well, I feel like there would be, like, a, oh. a surge of magic before the teleportation actually happened. So there'd be enough time for friends to be like, Rah! fuck! <laughs> There'd be a riot in the chat, is what there'd be. Mm, I she left too I... soon. I was gonna take it out before we, like, <laughs> before we went up the stairs and everything. I did. I did think about it though. I now, did see, think about it. J JC is concerned about doing the the devil's bidding. Ludo is what? wondering she if I to a devil <laughs> demon. Sorry, David. Demon devil. Old god. So old god. Rude. Old god. Deity. No. 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 Just. Just deity. <laughs> deity. Uh, Ludo is wondering if Actilineth was wearing clothes. Oh, he wants to eat a god. <laughs> Roll a perception check. I am nothing oh, if not a see. benevolent DM, okay? Let you roll for sex. Let you roll for nudity. 22. Roll for void count as clothes. It, they were wearing some clothes. Okay. There All may right. or right. may not have been some suggested um, androgynous tilly cleavage. Oh. They were a very androgynous deity. Any any and all pronouns. Um, very androgynous themselves. So. All right. Next session, Ludo's gonna research the god of nudity. I'm gonna have to write the god of nudity. <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
This is how the cult starts. <laughs> eat a god. McPenis. <laughs> McPenis is a god. <laughs> no one expected. <laughs> and nobody needed. <laughs> oh my god. Great yeah, session, though. Great session. Yeah. yeah. I hope you remember that phrase, because I'm not typing it. I'm not oh, no. going to type I'm pretty it. sure I got it phonetically. I hope so. Yeah, I wrote it down <laughs> phonetically as well. Yeah, I was like, do I add more? I was like, no, that's me. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just there with big star eyes the whole time, just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Act on Earth is cool. I did have to ask, I did ask my mom the other day. I was just like, mom, if you were like, we're talking to a friendly demon, and and they and they and they were gonna help you out in return for something. What, what would what would you expect them to ask for? And she was just like, probably money, or like a favor. And I was like, oh, huh. that's a good shout. Thanks, well. Kim Ameriki. Ameriki coming in, coming in strong with the. I can't believe y'all. Sure. Helping. Man. She had, well, because it's like, I'll have gaps in things, you know, it'll be like, you'll be like, so they're going to go talk to everyone in the tents, and then they're going to go to the palace, and then they'll talk to Riordan, and then they're going to go talk to Mew, and then they're going to summon Actilaneth, and what's going to happen? What does Actilaneth want in return? Ah, shit. Mom! Because, <laughs> like, you, you hyper-focus on so many things, and then you're like, wait, there's a fucking gap there that's very important. I need to... Uh, <laughs> and you just see the entire lore of the world just kind of in front of your eyes, um, and have and have a panic. But yes, yes, lots of interesting things. Yes, I need to find Finay with all that information. She knows Riordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah I was thinking we were gonna have to sacrifice something for a, for a second. Yeah, she's she's not. She, they're not. They're you know, she's not like the other deities. Um, not like the other demons. Um, <laughs> and as far as you know, you're not having to sacrifice anything. So. Mm -hmm. Just the people in the city. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, what the could, aqueducts that hold could, the water back from flooding the city. That's all. What yeah. Could, what could a, de a demonic deity possibly want with a city full of people at the top of a mountain? You know, I don't. I don't know. I was taking the role. I, I was taking that um, that path of. You have a terrible disease. You could get this operation that might kill you but also might cure you or you mm. could do nothing mm. maybe this is a bad idea maybe i think uh ludo's rationale with it all is like uh you know we summon the demon because we're helping a friend and then cool now we get a chance to kill the demon we summoned <laughs> so it's like it you do you do evil to do good, and then you do good after having done evil. It, it was a you distinct possibility. me again. Why? Oh, who stabbed me? <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, you stabbed me right in this Where are my clothes? Exist. <laughs> where, where are my clothes? Why, why are you biting me? What? Why are they biting me? <laughs> what are you doing with those weeds? You've already summoned me. Wait, what did you put on me? Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a Glad oregano alive, in time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So what are we all thinking? Are we, are we trusting it too? Are we gonna beat espers? Cool words. I'm leaning espers towards super cool espers. Especially since I just beat Final Fantasy VI again. And I'm super into yes. that word. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's right. How'd you like that last dungeon? <laughs> oh, you know, the the new one that they added for GBA? that It wasn't in the Pixel Remaster one, so I never got a chance to do it. Because uh, I did that at the end of the year. and uh, No, before it was before Halloween. Mm. And I forgot how long that dungeon is. <laughs> <laughs> that final dungeon is so long. 
Oh, you mean the the one the, the last dungeon of the game? Yeah. Kafka's dungeon. Yeah. To be fair, okay. So what had happened was we were already streaming for like two hours, and then stream was like a chat was like, "Let's beat it tonight." I'm like, "Let's beat it tonight." I normally only stream for two hours. <laughs> uh, we're only two hours in. So what I did is I I turned encounters off. So fair. we did just the boss fights. We didn't do any of the random encounters. So it actually it still took a long oh. time, but not anywhere near as long as it normally does. Because I'm just like, all right, we just want to see the ending at this the, point. Difficult yeah. everything is. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was it was gnarly. Insanity. Yeah, I pretty much did the same thing because I do Halloween streams every year, so I'm like, let's mm. finish this now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I didn't want to come back after and do it, so I'm like, and, oh, I think it was like seven hours or something was the stream. It's it's it was a while. Yeah, <laughs> dime, dime streams sometimes go real, real freaking hard. I've gone to sleep before and woken up and I'm still going. I'm just like, oh, I was just one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just one time. We love, we love I was the an evil stream, game so. that needed to be beaten in a yeah. particular way. Oh, God. The patience <laughs> of a fucking saint, I swear. No, I wanted to show. Yeah. That's how it goes. That's that's how one gets good practice. Nah, but <laughs> that was that was like a month worth of practice in one night. <sighs> Mad though. Mad though. Y'all see uh, yeah. Luca slash V's four picture summary? It's already up. <gasps> yeah. Oh, written. of course. That's what, that's like... the first thing I do once these are over. <laughs> I go and check to see what everybody's doing. Oh my been up to. gosh, yes. I need to make some stuff too. I finally finished my project. Mm, nice. Woohoo! Ooh. Okay, okay. Dokey. <laughs> this is all going to be at the end of the VOD, so should, do you think we should end it? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably end it. <laughs> yeah. Be people, comment below if you like the end bits. Comment. Little wind downs. Yeah, just, a, just mm -hmm. a little. What happened last time? We should just do a pot, like a real fancy podcast album. Be like, so you guys, what do you think of today's events? Sorry. I am yeah. hype and frightened because I assume we're going to be off a tutorial album real soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm still being a bit nice. I'm still being a little bit nice. But yeah. So I'm feeling a little I bad. We wasted session. our super poison. <laughs> Like, well, oh, after knowing what it does, it'd be, oh, that might have been good to have. Funnily enough, there, there is another, <laughs> there is another flower. There are quite a few flowers in the greenhouse that I spent two hours researching. <laughs> 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 so, like, it genuinely is up to you if you go or not. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you think... if you don't go, but. I think I checked out everything I wanted to, except for one thing, and it's the cave. Where we fought that thing, the woman on. Well, mm. I will say, Yor did leave the wyvern, the worm, here. So you can take it and use it if you want to. I'm just, that clean up I'm, the just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go wrap some things up, there is a worm you can travel on. Also, I think I think it will happen after we do a long rest, so we'll call it today. Everybody, level up! Oh damn! Oh boy! Y'all have earned it way more than earned it. Level five Holy is huge shit. in D and D. It yeah. fucking is. I'm wondering if I can fly now. What? <laughs> hey? <laughs> <Her>? <laughs> this is the best thing about playing D and D for like one of the first times. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a druid and talk to ah, oh, yeah, animals. and then it's just like, <laughs> you can be a fish at level three or four, and it's like, hey, it's like, yeah, you know, what you can do at level five. Wait, you fucking owl. I thought it was going to be a bunch of cats joining hands to create a parachute. I would not <laughs> disallow it. <laughs> uh, it's going to become a Ghibli movie in here. <laughs> oh no, it might be level six. It might be level six. Uh, we'll check. Uh, uh, oh, it's 
have a eight. Ew. Yeah. It's gonna be a I'm while. A Makes sense. I'll I'll find I'll I'll find a way. I want night to fly. <laughs> thank you too, chat, for being here. Yes, thank you guys so much. We see all your support, all your love, all your comments. So good. We appreciate it. I've right, never please. leveled a D and D character this high before. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yay! <laughs> Didn't piss off a god. Didn't shit or piss self. Yeah, <laughs> nobody. And for anyone who was curious, the uh, the thing for introduce the order for introducing everyone at the beginning of the stream was who was likeliest to get poisoned. <laughs> so it was Ludo oh. because human, <laughs> followed by Laura because occasional bouts of chaos, mm -hmm. uh, followed mm. by Tarquin because I feel like there are some resistances there, but still, yeah. you know, I, I feel like B being got... a draw. I believe so. I I can honestly couldn't be asked. I have a <laughs> resistance against being charmed. And magic mm. can't put me to sleep. So you can still get poisoned. Um, and Bifon last, because I, I think Bifon's got a pretty good constitution. So mm -hmm. I was like, I feel like I feel like Bifon would take quite a bit of, bit of dose to, <laughs> to get poisoned. <laughs> Airborne, <laughs> Ludo, 100%. 100% was likely <laughs> to get poisoned. <laughs> and... You know, it almost happened, so I, I, I stand by my first guess. <laughs> the mask on his model for next week. <laughs> uh, masks do not help, apparently. Uh, according to D&D lore, covering your mouth does not help with uh, inhalation poisons. Who knew? Learned a lot this week about poisons. Hopefully, I'll get to use it next week. If not, we'll see what happens. That's up to you guys. <laughs> That's up to you guys. <laughs> Again, though. I shall not punish you if you do not go and play my poison mini game key because it is deadly yes it's thank you for all the hard work you put into this campaign and making it all look so thank nice you. and the beautiful animated mm -hmm. background thing and everything all the beautiful everything and all the hard work you yeah. do and thanks thank everybody you. in chat for coming out this was thank a beautiful you. session it's such a good times <laughs> and everybody good times all the time everybody all the time good <laughs> time I said to myself, I wouldn't make an animated background each time, but it's kind of cool and I like doing it, so I might. We'll see. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And you guys are pretty cool. You... Go check out our players. Go check out us. Go check out the the, the Twitter for, for posts in between the week and stuff. And go and check out the coffee for exclusives and you can also support support it there and that money goes back into the project and, and um, you can see sneak peeks. I uploaded a battle theme that even the players haven't heard just for our coffee gold members the other day and they have an mp3 so they can download it. Oh so, my god. You know, sparkly shit. Sparkly stuff. The next week. Gonna leave tutorial island probably. And we're gonna revive Luca! Hey. Yay! Yay! Well, but until next time, do you mind the pink flowers? Uh, maybe don't bring a seagull. You know, do take a seagull to a fancy dinner. Don't take your friends to a fancy dinner, because <laughs> they might start accusing someone of being a demon lord. And until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Take care. <laughs>